Live from the Valley View Casino Center. It's time for the debut of the San Diego Soccers in the 2013-14 Professional Arena Soccer League season in front of a packed house tonight in downtown San Diego. The Soccers welcome in the Dallas Sidekicks. It's the Soccers and Sidekicks, and it's coming your way live on Livestream and America One Sports. Welcome to it, everybody. Craig Elston here from Box One. We are doing something special this year on our Soccer's Game broadcasts for every home game. We are welcoming in one of the legendary players of Soccer's past. And to begin tonight, we welcome in the man who will one day undoubtedly see his number three hanging from the rafters here at the Valley View Casino Center. He retired last year, scored a goal in the championship game to help the Sockers to a championship on his way out. P3, Paul Wright is here tonight on our Sockers broadcast. Paul, it's an honor to have you here. All right, thanks for having me. This is uh, amazing. I've never seen this side of the uh, the game before, so this would be really fun for me too. It's a blast for everyone involved, uh, believe me, when I tell you that. So, the journey to here tonight. The Sockers have spent the last month plus in training training in Escondido, Encinitas, and here at the Valley View Casino Center. An intensity to their training, Paul, and with good purpose. Tonight, the Sockers play what will almost undoubtedly, at least on paper, be their toughest game right out of the shoot. They take on the Dallas team that beat you, beat this Sockers team back on January 27th to end the 48-game winning streak. Oh, this is going to be a tough game. They've already, it seems like they've already played a game. Uh, so they've got one under their, under their belt already, and, and here we are in our home opener. So, yeah, we've got, uh, we, we've got our work cut out for us tonight. Ball Mitsubishi brings you the starting lineups. The lights are dimmed right now here at the Valley View Casino Center so that the soccer's starters may be introduced. And, by the way, coming out right now, one of their newest, uh, newest signees, Paul, and you know him very well, he was the MVP of this league in our first year back with the Sockers, 2009-10. Jeff Hughes, the oh. key free agent addition, essentially replacing you in the lineup. Yes, yes, uh, great addition to the team. I, I, I was, I was joke with him, speed in and speed out. So uh, I came out, and then they brought speed in. So uh, yeah, he's uh, he's got a uh, a lot of a big some big shoes to fill, but uh, he's ready for the challenge. Let's bring you that starting 14 as the Sockers are being introduced to the crowd. And the starters are coming out right now in goal tonight. And this is a story in and of itself. Chris Toth, the passing of the torch. It happened during the playoffs last year, Paul. Now Toth is the number one goalkeeper for the San Diego Sockers. He, he is, but he's ready for the challenge. I just had a conversation with his dad uh, on my way up here. And uh, he's, he's uh, assuring me this guy is ready for the challenge now to, to uh, take the torch and uh, run with it. The rest of our starting lineup. Up top, of course, it's the captain, Aaron Susi, back for his 17th and likely final season in the PASL and in professional indoor soccer. He has just been introduced to the crowd. Also, the three-time defending MVP, Craig Childs. The rest of your lineup, Anthony Medina, Brian Farber, Zay Roberto, Chiqui Luna, Diego Rivera, Eduardo El Vaquero Velez, Raimundo Reza, Scotty Martin, Evan McNeely, the new signee on the back line. Mike Mercuriali, Jeff Hughes. There it is, your starting 14 tonight under head coach Phil Salvaggio. For the Dallas sidekicks, Sagu in goal, already 1-0 with a goals against of 3.00. He was tough in both games against the Sockers last year. Kylie Couch, Bronil Kuchui, Sean Bellamy, Christian Quintana, Patrick Shamu, Nick Stavro, Sean David, Nestor Hernandez, Renato Perea, Jamie Lovegrove, Cody Ellis, Frank Memba, Bruno Guarda, and Gabriel Arredondo. The starting 14 under Tattoo and the Dallas sidekicks. Right now with the lights continuing to be dimmed here at the Valley View Casino Center. They have just trained a spotlight on a new banner that has been put up next to the U.S. Open Cup Championships and retired numbers ball. That banner recognizes the 48-game winning streak, the longest in U.S. pro sports history, and you were a part of the start and the end of it. Uh, this is uh, it's a special night, and that is a very special ac accomplishment for us. So, yeah, we are very proud to have that banner hanging. And now 
They have just dropped it and revealed it and take pride in this, my friend, as well. The 2012-2013 PASL Championship banner has been dropped. The 14th indoor soccer championship in this proud franchise's history. It is there for everyone to see. And let me tell you, Paul, the other story here is this crowd. Already the lower bowl is packed. <laughs> they have opened up the upper bowl for general admission purchase. This is the first time since coming back last year to the Valley View Casino Center that that has happened, including the playoffs. And I think you've got to see it a little bit outside, but I've heard from some folks coming in. The parking lot is jammed. The lines are, are long. It, it is jam-packed out there. This is a heavyweight fight. This is the home opener, and it is a heavyweight. We couldn't have picked a, uh, a harder opponent, and this is just uh, right off the bat. We've got a real heavyweight fight going on here. Time now for our national anthem. It is almost time to go. The teams are on the field. The soccer girls under the leadership of Andrea Elam are leaving the field. National anthem complete. Craig Elston, Paul Wright here with you live on America One Sports and an audio broadcast available live on Livestream.com as well. Both links available to you on our website, www.soccers.com. Dot com. A new change this year. You may remember the uh, PASL entered in a partnership with America One Sports last season. This is the second year with America One Sports, but a big difference this year is that the Sockers, and at no small expense, have paid the way for everyone to watch free of charge. All Sockers home and away games on America One Sports are free of charge. So if you're listening to our audio stream right now but desiring to see a video broadcast, of tonight's game, you can go to americawonesports.com, and uh, it is supposed to be free. I haven't gone on there and tried to do it myself, obviously, kind of tied down here, but it's supposed to be a free broadcast, not only tonight, but throughout the season, and that is a decision the soccer's made, because the more the merrier to check out this great game of indoor soccer in this great venue, uh, that is the Valley View Casino Center. Right now, down on the field, the ceremonial first kick, and it's KUSI's Allie Wagner delivering it to our captain, Aaron Susie, and pretty strong into the shins. <laughs> Allie's aggressive. You know, if you ever seen her on the pigskin report, you know it to be true. <laughs> that was a nice kick. So the uh, here's another thing. I mean, just how about the great connection, Paul, that this soccer's franchise continues to make with the youth soccer community. Tonight's layup line was so big it couldn't even fit when they ringed the entire uh, field here at the Valley View Casino Center. Oh, it, it's packed. It's going to be a packed house. These kids are fired up. I'm fired up. This is going to be a great event. Great, great night. Well, we are just about ready to go, friends. The lights are coming back into full effect. The kids are going to take a little while to get off the field, let's be honest. There's it's a, a lot of them. It's a big line, and it's going to go here. So uh, that gives us a chance just to tell you some of the particulars of this game again. This is the third meeting now between the PASL, Dallas Sidekicks, and Sockers. Both teams winning on their home field last year. Both games you were a part of, Paul. Both games 
came down to literally the last second. It was a sudden death overtime goal in Dallas. Here, a goal in the final second uh, by Eduardo Velez. And each time, 5-4, 6-5. I expect a game like this tonight as well. Uh, th this rivalry goes so far back. I mean, these games that we've been playing against Dallas for years and years, uh, they've always been close. Uh, and so I don't expect anything different tonight. The sidekicks have new kits. Uh, they are in their all whites with black trim underneath the arms. Uh, and this is a, a new trend, by the way, that the NBA started in, in uniforms, and I just wish it would stop. And now that you're up here in our broadcasting, Birch Paul, you might understand why the white numbers on a white jersey. Let's go ahead and go black on white. It's easy for everyone to see. Let's be fan friendly, you know? Yeah, it's a little, a little tough, but... Uh... I think they're going for the fashion statement. It is. It's highly fashionable, but, and I will say those are very attractive kits. The Sockers are in their home, horizontally striped black and blue tops with navy blue shorts and the trademark yellow socks. We're rearranging ourselves in box one here, me and P3. Here, buddy, let me just give it to you. Right over here like this. I never sit down. The action puts me on the edge of my seat. What can I tell you? We're ready to go, gang. 15 minutes are on the clock. It's time for the opening kickoff of the 2013-14 season. The San Diego Soccer's in blue. The Dallas Sidekicks in white. Chris Toth will defend the goal to my right as the Soccer's will run West to east, right to left, as we bring you the action on America One Sports and Soccers.com. The sidekicks will run left to right as Sagu defends the goal to our left, the eastern goal. Four 15-minute quarters. Ready to roll. The sidekicks will crouch on the opening kick. The 4,000 championship replica rings have been handed out. The 14th banner has been dropped. It's time to decide the sixth season and let that journey begin toward the Ron Newman Cup in the Professional Arena Soccer League. It's two of the teams that arguably can state preseason that they deserve to be considered title favorites. The Dallas Sidekicks, the San Diego Soccers. Kia Depina is our on-field lead official with Kelly Mock. He checks to make sure that the goal netting behind Segu, where the Soccers ran through their inflatable giant logo, is firmly set and ready to go. Kia receives the official word, sounds the whistle. 15 minutes on the clock and we are underway. It's the sidekicks and the soccers and we're happy to have you with us along for the ride to March and the Ron Newman Cup Championship. Rolled right back to the goalkeeper, Segu, pressured by Brian Farber. He goes over his red line, kicks it to the soccer's red line where Zay Roberto knocks it down. On the bench wall, far wall, Chiki Luna forward to Brian Farber, mid-board. He gets double teamed and bracketed, pushed off by Nick Stavro. And Stavro back to Segu. Farber pressuring him in the crease. He kicks it out and behind the line, he finds a man who kicks it wide to the right. And a man got behind the soccer's defense early. Can't see the number because, uh, once again, no number on the front and a white-on-white -white number on the back. It was... Sean David, the man who had the sudden death goal on a leak out just like that in Dallas, Paul. Yeah, we're, we're going to be playing high pressure. I was in the locker room before the game, and we're going to be going high pressure for at least the first five minutes, but we got to be real careful on that counterattack there. Yeah, David had a breakaway, folks. He was behind the defense, and he kicked it wide to the right. He got the ball past Chris Toth, but wide to the right. First 30 seconds, David had a great chance. Ball is in the corner to the three-time MVP, Craig Childs. Far corner attacking zone, rolls it past the soccer's red line. And now here's a give-and-go situation and getting behind Evan McNeely again. A man bumped and fouled, and this could be an early penalty on the San Diego Soccers. It is a blue card on Anthony Medina as Brunil Kachui, the Turlock Express forward, got behind the soccer's defense and Evan McNeely and Frankly, Paul, two egregious defensive lapses in the first minute. Yeah, I, I think we may have a little bit of nerves here. Opening night, um, first game of the season, big game. Maybe a little bit of nerves to start off with, but we'll settle down and, and uh, hopefully kill this penalty and, and get going. Penalty at 13:43, first quarter, and it's Anthony Medina. 
who will have to go to the sin bin. And this will begin with a free kick, a tremendous free kick, just off the arc angled to the left. A great chance for them to begin with a set piece and just get ahead one to nothing right away. It's Shamu out wide. Frank Memba looks like he'll take the free kick or perhaps David. It's David. He fakes. He rolls it to the left to Nick Stavro. Stavro off the goal wall. It caroms off of the leg of Chris Toth. Brian Farber knocks it off the side wall. Recovered by the sidekick Shamu out to Memba. And the power play is underway. It started at 13.43. It'll count down either to 11.43 or to a Dallas goal. Soccer's last year set a PASL record with eight shorthanded goals. Brian Farber out there with Scotty Martin into the middle of the crease. Say Roberto knocks down a loose ball. Diego Rivera to Farber. Tried to pass it back to Diego on the near wall. He's tried to run through a man and gets through uh, Hernandez. That is Nestor Hernandez. He is the Chicago Mustangs transfer who finished second in the PASL with 38 goals last year. Had four in their 15-3 win over Wichita last Saturday at the Allen Event Center. To Nick Stavro, no score, under 13 minutes to go in the first quarter. Long shot deflected off of Jeff Hughes, who's out there now on the front line of the penalty kill unit. Hughes in his first action for San Diego. Ball skitters along the goal roll, and there's Chris Toth to grab it for the Sockers. He throws out a long outlet. What a ball. Whittle connect to Jeff Hughes. Hughes oh, gets behind that. the defense. He kicks it wide to the right with a left-footed boot. Hughes is a right-footed kicker. Under a minute in the power play. And a touch foul there on San Diego. That is just their first team foul. 50 seconds left in the man advantage. No score. Soccer's in Dallas. First quarter action from the Valley View Casino Center. It's Frank Memba on the Soccer's logo, which has a 14th star added above the crest this year. Nick Stavro to Nick Shamu. Shamu passes it to David on the mid-long wall. Stavro down again, mid-boards attacking zone. He let a a wall pass get loose, and Eddie Velez just punts it over to the penalty box. We, we might be able to catch these guys on a counterattack on this power play if we, if we, if we uh, play it the right way. Brian Farber up top in a diamond defense. Stavro passes to Memba to make Farber move at the top of that diamond. Down to the midboards, it's Hernandez. Wall pass looking for Shamu. Header in the middle of the crease. Couldn't get ahead on it. It rolls to the far wall. Another wall pass. It's Shamu. Kick save. Rebound is loose. Third try goes off the glass wide left. Fourth try, and Hernandez kicked it too hard. Off the near glass and a wide open goal. Nestor Hernandez should have put that one home and did not. He got too excited. Here comes Medina. And the power plays over. Well done, guys. Well done. No score. 11.35 to go in the first quarter. That was a huge penalty kill. Let's see if the Sockers can get their jitters loose. They let two men behind the defense and behind the last line of defense in the opening minute and 10 seconds of this game. And yet, the sheet is still clean. Segu under pressure. Bends a long ball into the attacking far corner. Nobody but Scotty Martin there to track it down. He has Guarda marking him. Medina runs along the bench wall. Cuts it inside, and he's still got the ball. With Rivera to his left, here's Medina. Medina sets up Diego. His shot! A uh, save by Segu guarding the near post. Best chance for the soccer so far. That's what we're looking for, though, guys. That's what we're looking for. Giveaway. Quick scramble. It's Rivera on the near wall. In between two men, Roberto tries to send it back to him in the near corner. Rivera! Open man! Susie, and he missed wide to the left. That was a great chance, but Susie trying to strike it on the run. Martin from behind the red line into Segu. A save. Action picking up for the Sockers in the sixth minute. Looks like we're settling into this game a little bit more now. No score still. Nestor Hernandez in front of the penalty box as he stands. To Brunel Kachui, those are the two new guys out there together. Hernandez and Kachui adding to an already potent Dallas sidekicks team. But defense is their specialty, Paul, and I think the Sockers saw that last year. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's going to be hard to break these guys down, but we're so we're, we've got a lot of talented offensive players, so... Hopefully we can get break them down. It was another Segu long ball. This time McNeely beat Nestor Hernandez to the ball and a foul at midfield on Dallas. First team foul on the side, kicks one per side. Once you get to six, it's a blue card and an automatic two-minute power play. Greg Childs out on the field. This will be a set piece from just beyond the red line straight away, and here comes Cheeky Luna to take it. Luna is a crafty set piece striker. This is the role you used to occupy for us, P3. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a lot of weapons out here right now. Luna we'll rolls it to the do. right, or to the left, to Childs. Childs tried to go back post to Susie, knocked down inside the box by Bernil Kachui. He slides the ball forward, and there's Chris Doth outside his crease. Looks Plays. like he's got someone down. Yeah, you're right. It's Eddie Velez. Velez rolling over on the pitch. El Vaquero, first he was holding his head, but now he's reaching down to his right knee. And that is far more troublesome as Kara Wickerat and lead trainer Paul Savage come out to talk to the Tijuana superstar. At first when he was holding his head, Paul, I wondered, but then when he reached that knee, that makes you worry. 
Yeah, you never want to speculate, but yeah, they're they're uh, they're grabbing his knee right now. They're looking at looking at his knee. UCSD's capable athletic training staff also is on hand. This doesn't look good. So Dr. Siraj Achar, Dr. Ken Taylor, Siraj is out there. They are working on flexing Eddie Velez's right knee. Velez moved to full-time defender this year, Paul. He is one of the key soccers. He finished fourth on the team last year in goals and in assists. Yeah. The one thing I'll say, they're moving that knee a lot, and that's a good sign. With a pat on the back oh, he's from Kara, he's, he's up. up. Yeah. And uh, Eddie is walking off the field. Siraj is holding him underneath the right arm. Uh, Eddie is, is walking and putting weight on that right knee. He's walking rather evenly with his weight, but slowly. And walking back to the soccer's bench. So a, an early injury scare. And let's write that one down as well on our list of important things, Paul. 10-01 in the first quarter. Eddie Velez down. Yeah, that, 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 that will hurt us a lot if he doesn't, if he can't continue. A foul was called on Dallas, as we had mentioned. So with under 10 to go in the first quarter, it's a long pass from Tilt on the far wall. Cheeky Luna back from Craig Child, stolen there by David. David running with Roberto in front of him. Tips it to his right, it's Garza. Garza back to Bellamy. Bellamy sidewall pass, kicked up in the air by Scotty Martin, who tracks it with his head to midfield, punted right back into the zone by Kylie Couch. Ball pinballs around, and Garza tracks it down for the Dallas sidekicks. 9.34 and a running clock. First quarter from the Valley View Casino Center. No score. The Dallas sidekicks. And the San Diego Soccers. I was wondering who Garza was, and that's the... I was told, uh, Paul, that they had a new man on the team, and they didn't have a jersey for him. They told me number 99, Gabriel Arredondo, but I'm going to tell you right now, he's 28 because we didn't have a number for 28. So mm -hmm. they must have given him jersey 28. It looks like Evan has just checked in here Look at for, this. Uh, for Eddie. A foul called on Dallas as Toth was over on the far wall there and Roberto was getting pressured by Arredondo, who was trying to kick into an empty goal. Here's a long ball from Toth. Looking for Childs off the near corner glass. He tips it up to McNeely. McNeely tried to kick it right back to him, but there was Memba to run interference. Here come the sidekicks out of the zone. Bellamy playing it back to Memba. And back to Segu, and they settle as Childs high pressure. That high pressure plan continuing for the Zockers. It was a disaster in the first minute, and they're frankly quite lucky not to be down by one. Kindly Couch rolls along the near wall. Jamie Lovegrove, who scored four goals in the sidekicks win in the Allen Event Center, and then was shut out in their loss here. Lovegrove, a British native, rolls it along the near wall. Shamu is in the corner. Shamu tracked by Zay Roberto. Two wily veterans there. Top of the crease. It's the target forward, Memba. Pushed by McNeely out by the behind the red line. Ellis back to Stavro. They'll rotate and reset. 8.25. The clock runs down in the first quarter. Craig Elston, Paul Wright with you. Live on America One Sports and Livestream.com. Look out here. Where was Farber when he kicked that ball? Brian Farber just kicked the ball out of play. And sure enough, he was inside the red line, Paul. Farber has just conceded the game's first set piece at top of the box free kick. I think we're letting them uh, control the pace of the uh, the pace of the game a little bit. Uh, too much of the ball. We've got to put a little bit more pressure and get uh, cause some turnovers. Completely agree. Two pals on Dallas. Here's Stavro for the free kick. He rolls it, tipped by Farber in the wall, and Brian recovers the ball at the side of the crease between two players. Gets knocked down. No foul called, and the ball played back into the soccer zone where Evan McNeely, in his first game with the Soccers, rolls it to Chris Toth. Best news, Eddie's back on the field. That is great news. Here's a ball looking for Raimondo Reza. It rolls instead to the keeper, Zagu, and there is Velez back out there on defense. He's marking Brunel Kachui. The clock's under eight minutes in the first quarter. No score. Nick Stavro rolls it to his bench. Sean David jumping off there and running out to midfield. Back to Zagu. He'll play it with his feet. Across, directing traffic, a distribution into the far corner. Velez is walling off Brunel Kachui. El Vaquero gets to the ball first, skitters it along that far wall, and it'll roll all the way out to midfield where Conley Couch will track it down for Dallas. Couch at the base end of center circle to Kachui. Kachui, uh -oh. nice play. Beats Velez. Goal wall pass. Nobody there except Raimondo Reza for San Diego. Outlets to a fellow Aztec, although a decade behind Aaron Susi. Now along the far wall, it's David. David trying to sidewall pass to himself. McNeely stays with the play long enough for Susie to get there. Ball rolls midboards to Kachui. Kachui rolls it out. Shot, and it was blocked in the crease by David. Roll over there was Velez to try and knock it down, and let's see what we have here. Handball. Handball called on Dallas. That's an automatic team foul. Third team foul on the sidekicks halfway to a blue card. 
no score. 7-0-1, first quarter from the Valley View Casino Center. A giant crowd here tonight. As I look up, Paul, to the stands across the way, I see at least the three middle sections, probably around 75% filled in the upper deck and the lower bowl. It's hard to find an empty seat. It's a great crowd, great crowd. Could be the biggest since the return of the Sockers in 2009. We'll get that official attendance from Joe Tatino later tonight. I have to say the play of the game is uh, Chris on that one-on-one -on -one early on. Giles trying to head it to Hughes, crashing the crease. It went past him, and Segu was able to grab it by the back post. A crafty play between two MVPs. Scott Martin jumping up on a loose ball, and he directs it to Childs in offensive midfield toward Cheeky Luna. Luna is being pressured and loses the ball. Arredondo coming in. Arredondo with the man in the crease. Lovegrove, he scores! The sidekicks are on the board first. Jamie Lovegrove does a dance in front of the San Diego fans before being mobbed by his teammates, but it was a giveaway at the far wall and a called timeout. By Phil Salvaggio. This should be the official's timeout anyhow. At 6-12, Salvaggio angry that there wasn't a carded play of some sort before that. But that is the third time that we have seen a soccer get beat as the last line of defense in this first quarter. Very costly turnover that time. Dallas is on the board first. It's Jamie Lovegrove with the strike. And a timeout called by San Diego. Gives us a chance to thank some of our great spot sponsors, Paul, including Paul Mitsubishi, Felipe's Pizza Grotto, and Bumblebee Foods, headquartered right here in San Diego. Powered by Omega-3, Bumblebee Tuna's heart healthy, rich in protein, low in fat. Above all else, it's delicious. Visit Bumblebee.com today. Fuel your team with Bumblebee. Talked a little bit in the uh, locker room before the game. You know, if we get down, let's not get our heads down. And, you know, they're going to score goals. They're a good team. But, you know, this is our field, and we, we're not going to panic, and we're going to get things together, and hopefully this is a bit of a wake-up call for us. Jamie Lovegrove has the goal. That is his third of the season. Checking on the assist once again. I believe it was actually 28, which is uh, what we've decided was out of Dondo, I believe. We can go back and check that after the fact, but I'm, I'm going to give it to Arredondo at 6-12 in the first quarter. Lovegrove is third and 1-0 Dallas. Restart at midfield for the Sockers, running right to left. Hey, don't forget, Sockers right back in action tomorrow, or pardon me, next Saturday night. The Monterey Flash, another top five team in the PASL to start the season coming to the Valley View Casino Center. Tickets available at 866-799-GOAL or www.sockers.com. It's Craig Childs with two men around him in the far attacking corner. Pass is threaded out to Shamu. Shamu finds Memba on the run who connects. He's coming across the benches to the red line with a man behind him. Ball faking, tried to back heel it through Anthony Medina. Medina deflects the ball into the far corner, and Scotty Martin plays it back to his keeper, Chris Doe. 5.40 to go in the first quarter. 1-0, Dallas leading San Diego. Joe Tatino exhorts some noise from the Sockers crowd, trying to fire up this team, which looks a little bit tentative to me so far, Paul. Just a little bit. It's, a, it's the first quarter. It's, a, it's the first game, and, you know, we've got to get our, uh, get our bearings about us a little bit. Frank Membel was just called for a team foul, fouling Medina in front of the benches. That's the fourth foul on Dallas to one for San Diego, something we've got to keep an eye on. 5.24, long ball, Roberto to Susi. Tried to head it, it goes off the goal glass, and Sagu just plucks it off that goal glass. Says, where do you want me to go? Uses all five seconds, throws from the top of his crease, right-handed fastball to the near wall to Jamie Lovegrove. Lovegrove sidewall pass, trying to beat Roberto to the ball was Kachui. Kachui knocked him off with a physical play, muscled him into the near corner, rolled it off the goal wall, and there was Chris Toth with no pressure. Great defense, eh? Five minutes to go. Roberto's got his hands full with a bigger man in Brunel Kachui. Yes, he does. Here's Toth across the red line. He can kick it into the attacking zone all. Instead to the far wall in front of the bench, Eddie Velez. Velez went out with an injury but came right back. Looks, it looks good now. It looks okay. Toth bends one over to Susie, trying to fight through. Susie flicks it, but over everybody and over the netting. Out of play. 4.38 to play in the first quarter. 1-0 Dallas. The goal for Jamie Lovegrove with 6.12 to go in the quarter. And we credit Arredondo with the assist. 
Sagu. Long ball distributes. There's Nestor Hernandez. Hernandez working with Reza. Reza flicks the ball off of him, wins it. Hernandez runs back to get it. It's chipped back to the wall. The two run again, and Diego Rivera comes in and passes it back to Toth. Toth pressured over Danny Velez. High pressure shown by Dallas now. McNeely with two men around him. Pinballs and keeps the ball. That was a dangerous ball. Sure was. He had two men around him. If he lost it, it was going to go right in on goal. Back to Segu. Childs high pressuring. High pressure has not worked for the Sockers this quarter. They haven't scored and they've given up a goal. And they've had two other great chances that went awry. Here's Childs. Knocks down a ball defensive midfield. Good job by Craig to run back and win that one. Raimundo Reza says, let's settle it down and let's play it back to the keeper, Chris Toth. Under four in the first. Dallas leads 1-0. Defensive midfield, it's Chris Toth standing on the ball. One step forward and over to Brian Farber. Farber looking forward. Tries to run to the midfield with Sean David. Diagonal run with three men around him. Memba takes the ball away. Then Velez, a weaving run, wins it back. Velez to the right foot. Blocked by Couch. And the ball to the near wall. Memba steps on it in traffic. Chips it out somehow to Bellamy. They're going to rule a trip on Childs. Both men went down. No car and a team foul. Second foul on San Diego. They're looking to break out on us. They're, they're, they're sucking yes. us in, and they're looking to break out on us. We've got to really watch that. The sidekicks talked, Paul, in the offseason. They hired a strength and conditioning coach. They talked about recommitting all summer long to a different level of conditioning, and frankly, I, I see it right now. Now, will all those old legs still have it in February and March? That's the uh, question that is to be answered four months from now. But right now, this team looks fitter than before. They look sharper than the Sockers up and down the field so far. They definitely do, but we've got to we've got to handle it, though. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Dallas leading one nothing. It's Ellis with the ball just behind the midfield stripe. At the back edge of center circle, out to Kylie Couch. Couch tore an ACL last year, and that was a big part as well why Dallas feels they didn't advance in the Central Division playoffs. RG Fee Flash got by them and beat them at their home field uh, to get that win. A very disappointing result for that freshman sidekicks franchise. They're trying to learn their lesson. They brought in Hernandez. They brought in Kachui. The Sockers brought in Jeff Hughes. And here he goes from defensive midfield. At the midfield line, rolls it to the near wall to say Roberto. Under two and a half to play. Remember the Sockers so deaf last year, scoring inside the last minute. We call it Sockers magic. They did it in almost every quarter against the sidekicks last year. Can they drum up a late goal today? Susie heads it back to Toth, and they'll have to reset again. Frankly, the Sockers have not had too much of an organized attack. It's Roberto long ball. Trying to make a run, Rivera, but instead heading it. Now from the defensive zone, Ellis headed it out of bounds. That's the first top of the box chance for San Diego, I believe, B3. This is our specialty right here. Got a lot of weapons. One free kick per side so far. Dallas is 0 for 1. Looks it's like Chiki got, Luna. Looks like we got Susie down low. Luna there tips he is. it down low. There's Susie. Susie didn't get a good touch on it, and jumping out was Lovegrove to deflect the play. Hughes wins it back on the far wall. He kicks it left-footed, looking for Charles. Ball went past him to the near wall, and Craig runs it out. The free kick, no good. Both teams open 0 for one 150 to play. First quarter, Dallas leads it one to nothing, and the Sockers in front of this, what I'll tell you already for sure, will be a Sockers PASL record crowd getting shut out in the first. For now. Childs, a ball went through the legs of Bellamy, came to the top of the crease. Couch tried to kick it out. It went off Childs into the far corner. Double team for the soccer scouts, but there's Sagu to pick up a loose ball in his crease. He throws a long ball out. It's going to connect. It's Lovegrove in front of the red line, and there well, was Velez. Ho, ho, from behind. Eddie with a deft touch, not to get a foul or a blue card. Medina draws a foul on Bellamy on the near wall. That's foul number five on Dallas. One from a blue. But again, they got behind us. Yes, the defense has been not good. The Sockers have been a half step behind. Dallas has been the better side, but it's 1-0. Minute 20 first quarter, plenty of time. Roberto to Farber, trying to give and go, and the ball hopped up, and John David took it away. Farber runs it down to Scotty Martin in midfield. 73 seconds to go. It's Medina heading it across the crease. Susie will track it down in the far corner attacking zone. Memo on his back, two big boys right there. Susie controls. It's Roberto Back out to Scotty Martin and a minute to go in the first quarter. 1-0 Dallas leads. Roberto near wall. Farber trying to skip nice through turn. a man. He turns to his right foot. Top of the crease. Three men around him. He falls down. No harm, no foul, says Kelly Block. And the ball comes out for Dallas. It's member running past Scotty Martin. There was Roberto to flick it, but it goes to Sean David. 
David back out. It's Arredondo here. He passes to Bellamy. 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. 1-0 Dallas with the lead. Bellamy rolls it back to Nick Stavro, the aged Brit. Can you believe Stavro's still going, my man? You must have played with him back in the day, born in 69 out of Worthing, England. Gosh, they are well-schooled on how we play. They, they, they have our number right now. We've got to figure this out. Farmer, offensive midfield, a loose ball. Roberto back to Martin. There's 13 seconds to play in the first. Long ball off the goal glass. Hops off a seam. Pops and bounces once. Farber trying to win it over Memba. Hey, he gets the ball. Brian steps out to the right foot and gets knocked down by Bellamy, but that was not a foul. Brian was trying to sell that sixth foul, and the horn sounds to end the first quarter. One goal in the quarter. It belonged to the sidekicks. Jamie Lovegrove, his third at 6-12. But let's tell the truth and call it like we see it, B3. The, the sidekicks could be up 4 nothing right now with a couple more breaks and a little bit better execution. Yes, we're lucky to be only down a goal right now. But uh, I, I really think that once we get this first quarter behind us, we get our legs underneath us, we get the nerves out, and uh, the longer this game goes like this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back in it. One goal is going to change the whole dynamics of this game. 15 minutes complete. We are between quarters on AmericaOneSports.com and Livestream.com, San Diego Soccer's broadcast page. Craig Elston, Paul Wright, our videographer, Dave Evenson, and his team. Our statistician this year is Nick Pellegrino, and we thank him for taking over for Adrena Badal. We hope Adrena is uh, watching up in Turlock. She decided to stay in her old hometown this year. And uh, we wish Adrena all the best and hope we'll see her at a soccer's game coming up soon. I'm updating Twitter right now, Paul, and I invite everybody to uh, follow me on Twitter at 619 Sports. The number is 619 SPORTS. Be interesting to see how we come out this second quarter if we continue the high pressure or not. Soccer girls are coming out to perform. We want to remind you that RSI Roofing is celebrating 20 years of doing business in San Diego. They are proud to sponsor the San Diego Soccers year after year, specializing in commercial and HOA roofing. When you think roofing, think RSI. The Soccers are proudly sponsored by Boney Acai USA. Add Boney Acai Energy Sticks to your water bottle before your workout, a night out, or anytime you need an extra boost in your day. Boney Acai Energy Stick samples available at each soccer's game. Just go to the soccer's booth and pick up a couple. Find out how your weekend changes tomorrow when you use that Boney Acai Energy Stick to get your Sunday going. Get your free sample and discount code tonight from Boney Acai USA. Chick-fil-A Sports Arena, proud sponsor of the San Diego Soccer, is excited to participate in the 2013-14 season. Stop by Chick-fil-A Sports Arena for your post-game meal. Located on the south side of the Valley View Casino Center and open till 10 p.m. Hey, what if the game goes overtime? P3-10 might not be enough tonight. This could be a good one again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a close game. We're going to get, we're going to figure out this defense. Looks like uh, Mike Mercurelli's warming up. Uh, we may make a little change in the back there. Well, it would be fair to say that Evan McNeely made a, at least one, if not two, big mistakes in that first quarter in his first couple shifts on the back line of San Diego. Not to say there won't be many great days to come for Evan McNeely in the San Diego Soccers, but the first step was a stumble. And now, as you mentioned, Mike Mercury Alley might be getting some of that time on the back line for San Diego here coming up. Both teams suiting up 14, of course. 15 minutes are back on the clock. They'll switch sides. San Diego will attack left to right, Dallas right to left as we bring you the live action, our words eye view from box one here at a jam-packed Valley View Casino Center. Aaron Susi is over the second quarter restart. The soccer's captain, the only man to have been a part of all five professional arena soccer league championships, one with Stockton, four with San Diego. Susi steps in the ball, tips it to Cheeky Luna, and we are underway with second quarter action. Brian Farber heads one of the red line into the far corner off the goal wall. Bellamy and Susie fight for control. Susie tips it back. Scotty Martin in front of the San Diego bench being pressured. It's David back to the soccer's Chris Toth. Toth comes across the red line. 
And we're in the opening 20 seconds of the second quarter. Here's Raimondo Reyes, a second-year player for, Re- for San Diego. Back to Scotty Martin. Thank Martin you. return pass to Reza off the goal glass. He's on the edge of the crease. Raimondo controls with the base of his right foot. Farber comes crashing into that corner. He's battling one for one, spinning back. Zay Roberto on right point. He will roll it back to defensive midfield. San Diego settles. Craig Childs at the edge of the crease, midboards. Top of the crease, Farber touching a tiptoe touch pass there to Reza, but it was tipped away by Dallas. San Diego, however, continuing to possess. Longest possession we've seen for the Sockers in this game so far. Yeah, it looks like we're changing the strategy a little bit. We're going to keep someone in the back at all times now, which is obviously very smart. And we're going to try to keep possession. It's Roberto on the near wall. Shamu is coming up, and now the sidekicks respond by showing some pressure. Rivera to the near wall and now with Bellamy down. Here comes Martin on left wing. Martin rolls it into the crease. Rivera touches it down to the near wall. Childs back to goal. Tips it. His pass was deflected by Hernandez. One hop stays in play. Reza boxes out Shamu. It's Roberto rolling it back to Diego. Diego through the legs of a defender on the right wall. Defender stays with him. Diego midboards wins it. Plays it into the near corner. Nestor Hernandez crashes in there. Now a sidekick's double team. Diego, what possession. And there is the sixth foul called on San Diego. And afterward, Bellamy is down holding his head. But the foul was called on Dallas. And Paul, this will be an automatic blue card and a power play for San Diego. I like the way we opened up this second quarter here. We changed the strategy up a little bit. I know Phil wants to go and pressure and pressure and, uh, you know, get the fans excited and get them into the game. But... uh, I think this type of game, uh, early on in the season, I think we might need to just slow it down a little bit and wait for our opportunities to come. Dallas, by the way, was 4 for 4 on power plays against Wichita, but 0 for 1 tonight. Now the Sockers get their first opportunity. They were a 50% power play unit last year, one of the best in the PASL. San Diego will attack with Chiki Luna, Aaron Susie, Craig Childs, Brian Farber, and Eddie Velez. 13-28 on the clock, two minutes on the penalty for six fouls. This penalty will count down either to 11-28 or to a soccer's equalizer. They trail 1-0 in early second quarter action. And this crowd rising their level of volume, Paul, to try and get involved as well. Cheeky Luna, the power play begins behind the red line. Near wall, he gives to Eddie Velez. Brian Farber's running the middle of the crease. Aaron Susi and Cheeky Luna, two points out there. Farber to the top of the crease, touches it far wall to Childs. Childs across the field to Luna. Luna to the midboards to Velez, back to Cheeky. Cheeky's pass deflected by Sean David. Cheeky jumps up to head it. Lovegrove beats Susie. Here he goes on a shorthanded breakaway. Jamie Lovegrove is coming in. He shoots. Save by Chris Toth. Toth stops a breakaway shorthanded by Lovegrove. And Toth, go Toth is playing unbelievable right now. Unbelievable, this guy. A huge, huge stop by Chris Toth. 12.48 to go, minute 20 in the power play. Dallas still leads 1-0. Here's Childs, back to Aaron Susie. Susie flicks it. Here's Velez near corner, tried to pass it to the back post. Deflected, Brian Farber was lurking there. Childs maintains possession, back out to Susie. Minute 8 to go in the penalty for San Diego. They're trailing 1-0. First power play of the night for the Sockers. Home crowd wants something to cheer about. It's cheeky over to Susie. Childs asks for it in the far corner. Gets it, but knocks the ball down with two touches. Flicks it, che- cheeky. Chests it near corner to Velez, back to Luna. No shots going on this power play yet. I think we're a little gun shy after that breakaway. Back power pass. Velez couldn't get it on goal. Kicked it off the goal glass. Childs knocks it down. He's got two men around him. Passes it off the side wall. Susie put it into the crease and it's deflected out. And here comes Lovegrove leaking out again. Farber has to hustle back to get between him and goal. Lovegrove shoots. And a save. Second shot of this power play. Both by Lovegrove for the opposition. Still 1-0 and a great save by Toth there. Luna tracks it down, 22 seconds to go in the power play. Hey, Dallas, I know you guys are watching a big viewing party out there at Grover's Pub. Celebrating your side right now. They're playing great indoor soccer. Here's Jeff Hughes on the power play. Out to Susie. Susie left-footed, but wide to the right. It finds Velez. It was a goal wall pass. Back out to Cheeky. Just one second left. The power play is over. Both sides at full and even strength. Renil Kachui came out of the box, serving the six fouls power play, and it's still 1-0 Dallas. They had the better chances on that power play. They sure did. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Velez, under pressure, heads it back to Chris Toth. Toth over to Anthony Medina. 
Medina to Hughes at the back end of center circle. Over to Evan McNeely, the two newcomers on the field. McNeely with a long ball into the near corner, off the goal glass, chested in by Childs. Double team comes to the MVP. Childs turns, okay, trying ball. to feed Medina. And Kachui was there to knock it away. Medina deflects it into the far corner. Goal ball pass. Childs, Go. scissor kick goal! Correct, Childs from Jeff Hughes. The equalizer at 10.53. And Paul Wright, what a beauty was that? That was amazing. They, I, I like what we're doing now. We, we, we didn't look too good on the power play, but as soon as we got to the five-on-five five again, we, we put our foot on the ball, we settled it down a little bit, and we uh, Hughes made a great run through, got the ball over to Childs. What a goal. Childs is first of many from Hughes, his first soccer's point. And Craig Childs jumping into the air, Paul, and in midair, scissor kicking it into the side netting to beat Zagu. What a play. You have to be the all-time goal scorer to see that angle, baby. That's all he does is score goals. That's what he does. His 126th PASL goal, if I remember my game notes off the top of my head. And it is 1-2-1. One, one. No, his 164th goal. He has 216 points now in the league, and both of them are the best fi- the best figures in the history. Yeah, don't sell the him short. I do not want to <laughs> sell the man short. He's done the scoring. Goal for San Diego, and now this crowd, Paul, can maybe become part of a factor in this game. Oh, we're going to score some goals. It's going to take us. Well, we're going to score some goals tonight. One to one, and Childs breaks the seal on the red lamp at the Valley View Casino Center for 2013-14. It's the sidekicks controlling back at defensive midfield. Soccer's with some tentative high pressure. Here's a long ball. Sagu to Memba. He's got Shabu by him, but there was Hughes well to run Hughes. interference. That's what he brings to this team, Paul. Two-way speed. Yeah. Medina and Rivera now. Created the, uh, the assist for the goal and got back for the, uh, for the defensive play. There's Medina around two players. A foul called on Dallas. Bellamy over there. And again, while the Sockers are on two team fouls, Dallas starts their team foul count back to six. There's their first and seventh of the game overall. One to one, 10-12 to play, first half. Greg Elston, Paul Ryan with you. Live on America One Sports. And remember, America One Sports free of charge this year, courtesy of the San Diego Sockers. Live audio on Livestream.com. Thanks to everyone for joining us. Back here Saturday, Frank Memba and Aaron Susie arguing and by the way, it's actually, how do you like this, Paul Wright? Uh, Sagu, who's, who's a bit of a kook himself, uh, I, I want to say that's Bellamy over there, who was the man that got tangled up with Medina, called for the foul. Sagu whacked him about five times in the back of the head and pushed him with two hands, telling him, get your head in the game. And it's, pardon me, it's Cody Ellis. Cody Ellis, uh, who, who was the part of that, but... How about a, a physical display by Segu there? I tell you what, you can get arrested for harassment in, in some courts there. Beth Burns got fired for less. Yeah, he, he's, got a, he's got a fire to him. Uh, it can be good and bad, but if he can keep it under control, it's good. But sometimes he gets a little out of control there. Well, something's going on. I just saw Brian Farber go past the official's box and start clapping. Brian wouldn't be clapping unless something good happened for San Diego. So I wonder if, if a yellow is coming out here as a result of all of this. Now, this is a good time to remind folks as well. You, t- you talk about how that passion can run hot and cold, Paul, or work for you and against you. Last year, the Sockers won the game on a power play. That power play was created as the result of three yellow cards accrued by Dallas. The third one came with 41 seconds, but the first two came early. And here's yeah. the call. Five, it's like a five-minute misconduct. But I still think it'll be five on five. So a five-minute misconduct penalty, and who's serving it for which team? There's, there's no one in the box at the moment. Someone's got to get in the box to serve the five minutes. The officials have ignored this key detail, and the game is going to resume with a free kick for San Diego on the far wall. It's bent to the edge of the crease. Oh, baby, there was Segu to capture a skipping ball with Craig Childs nestled to his hip, and the game is still tied at one. Here come the sidekicks. It's Shamu with Memba in the middle of the field. Offensive midfield. Memba giving go pass back to Shamu. There was Reza to beat him to the ball. Roll it to Chris Toth. Toth chips a high ball to midfield. Headed by Stafford to the red line. Headed back by Roberto. Over the top. Can Childs get this one? Chests it down. Oh, that's Childs a soft called foul. for a push off. That's a soft foul. There's no foul there. And Childs arguing he doesn't need to get a yellow card. Craig, you can calm down here. Team foul called against San Diego. Their third to one for Dallas. 9.48, second quarter, 1-1 tie. 
Just the kind of game I was expecting, P3. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Oh, baby. We're, we're broadcasting it on Internet around the world, and we hope you get everyone in the world to join us now. I don't think it will crash our system. Here's Eddie Velez in front of the sidekicks bench. Soccer's attacking left to right. High pressure shown by Lovegrove. Martin chips it over Lovegrove's attack. Eddie Velez gets nailed and really sold it from Kylie Couch. And there's oh, a blue. A yeah, that's a two minutes. Kylie Couch the ball gets a straight blue for roughing Eddie Velez. And I'll tell you, Eddie sells those fouls so well, Paul. You were, did you teach him some of those tricks? <laughs> no, he learned that all on his own. San Diego will go on the power play for the second time tonight. They're 0 for 1. This power play at 9.24 of the second quarter. It is Kylie Couch for roughing. Looks like they're trying to be a little physical with Eddie tonight. Charging the official call. This power play begins at 9.24. It'll count down either to 7.24 or to a soccer's goal to give him a 2-1 to one lead. Looks like we've made an adjustment on the power play, though. Looks like Jeff Hughes is out there. Yeah, Jeff Hughes is out there. Medina is in the crease now as well to start this man advantage. G uh, Paul, Eddie Velez, Craig Childs, and Susie not out there to start the power play, and I find that to be quite interesting. Susie's the captain of the team and, and pretty much of the power play since you left. Yeah, obviously we didn't have a very good first power play, so Phil wants to try something different. Yes, sir. This power play is underway. With a whole new look. It's Luna to Hughes. With the sidekicks extending beyond the red line with their pressure. Cheeky Luna, offensive midfield, turns to face goal. Two touches to come forward to the red line. Top of the crease. Medina, one touch as he turns around. Finish. Now Childs, oh. wide to the left. Ball loose in the crease. There's Velez. Tim shoots. Blocked by Stavro. Into the near corner. Out to Cheeky. Chuki flicks it past the red line, and the soccer's will reset. Much better already on this power play. 30 seconds elapsed in the penalty in a 1-1 tie. It's Medina. Out to Hughes. Hughes straight away. Tips to the left foot. Back heels to himself. Spins around and resets to Luna and back to Jeff Hughes straight away. Hughes takes a step forward. It crashes in pinballs. And here's a man loose. Sean David. His second breakaway. Here it comes shorthanded. He shoots wide to the right. Two shorthanded breakaways for Dallas. Three breakaways overall. They're 0 for 3. Chris, the game still tied at 1. Chris Toth is in his head. He had no idea what he wanted to do there. Luna to Hughes. Oh, the Sockers are lucky. Minute elapsed in the penalty. The best chances in both Sockers power plays. Three for Dallas. None for San Diego. All he we need is one good one, though, to put it in. You're absolutely right. Near midboards. Velez trying to cross it back out to Hughes. And Hughes here. shoots. Yes. He scores! Jeff Hughes! Welcome to San Diego! The Cincinnati kid has put it in the back of the net, and the Sockers have a 2-1 lead. All we needed was a one chance, right? All we needed was one. The indoor legend Paul Wright told you, and Jeff Hughes made it happen, baby. That's indoor soccer for you, huh? They get a, a breakaway on one end, don't finish it, and we come back and put it in. Tattoos out on the field. Eddie Velez gets the helper at 8.02 in the second quarter. Timeout. Dallas. Tattoo will talk it over. It's a short sentence, Paul Wright, but it's so true. That's indoor. It is. The San Diego Sockers would like to thank their proud sponsors. Proactive Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine is the sole provider of physical therapy services for the Sockers. Proactive Physical Therapy sees patients from all over San Diego County having excellent relationships with San Diego's top doctors. With three convenient locations, visit Proactive's website, www.proactivept.com. That's Proactive, the number 4PT.com. Proactive4PT.com for Proactive. I want to thank on this broadcast, I know they're probably not listening to it unless they're recording it, but I want to thank all our local media for all their great help in publicizing this game. Tell you what, as a, as a member of this front office, Paul, for five years, you look around the Valley View Casino Center right now, and I mean, you get chills. It's hopping. Look at this crowd, Dave Smith. 
Sockers are back, baby. Dave Smith has been around long enough to know the old days. Cameraman for NBC, he says, it's just like the old days, baby. That's what it's looking like. And the Sockers with a 2-1 lead. Restart of midfield for Dallas. High pressure, San Diego out of the timeout. Sagu, midfield headed by Martin forward. Childs off into midfield. Crosses to an open Reza. Reza, one touch over the red line. Right wing, his shot blocked by Couch. And Sagu had Childs crashing the back post, and Raimondo runs back to win it. How about the work rate of Raimondo Reza? He's been impressive, and that's why he's earned his spot in this 14. He's definitely earned his uh, position here. It's a long ball. Scotty Martin over two lines to Roberto. Roberto to an open Childs. He oh. miskicked it into the crowd. Open he in the crease. Back. Oh, oh, he'd love to have that one back. <laughs> and Childs yes. covers his head. If he could dig a little hole in the Valley View Casino Center, he'd yeah. jump in it right now. That's his bread and butter right there. He's Officials timeout. Officials timeout at the Valley View Casino Center. Second quarter midway. 2-1 San Diego. Greg Elston, Paul Wright, back here with you from the Valley View Casino Center. Our statistician, Nick Pellegrino, our videographer, Dave Evenson, 2-1 San Diego, 7-28. Officials time out over, and here come the sidekicks. Segu rolling it out of his crease, and coming forward is Jamie Lovegrove. He's got the goal for Dallas. Midfield tips it. Hernandez gets run down by Scotty Martin, and Martin controls the ball into the far corner with two sidekicks around him. Attacking zone. Look out. Goal wall pass. Pinballing out there, and Martin kicks it down the middle of the field. Can Medina run over it? On two lines, he does knock it down. One-on-one -on -one with Bellamy. Bellamy stays with him, and Anthony rolls it out to the soccer's bench and plays it back. I haven't seen much of Aaron Susi lately. I wonder if he's hurt. I agree. He hasn't been out there the last power play, and then a few shifts in a row. Do you see him on the bench? I'm looking, and then... Not seeing right now, and i got to turn my eyes back to the action. Here come the sidekicks. It's Lovegrove running right to left. Sidewall pass into Hernandez. Crashes the corner. McNeely stays with him. Right there on his hip. Lovegrove deflected off of Les's leg. Back to Nestor. Nestor with four goals in that opener. Back to Lovegrove, who had two and three. Chipped by Stavro into the far corner now. And Brunil Kachui, he's making his sidekicks debut. Goal wall pass right to Chris Toth. And Toth grabs it. Much better team de defense there. Over to Eddie Velez on the near wall. Mike Mercarelli makes his first appearance. Here comes Merck. The San Diego State vet is running along the bench wall as the ball is at defensive midfield. Raimondo Reza back to tilt. The Fallbrook High School grad and U.S. Beach team national, the national team starting goalie. His long distribution. Mercury Alley under pressure from Memba plays it back to tilt in his zone. It's Eddie Velez at his own red line. Close quarter passing, give and go. Rivera back to Velez. Two men around Eddie. He's trying to fight through a tackle on the near wall by Arredondo. Goal wall pass to the far post over Medina. Out to Martin. Martin left footed into the crowd. Hey, uh. hey I want to say congrats to a great soccer fan who just brought a new soccer fan into the world, Jamie Shepherds. Her husband, Tanner, writes a column online talking about the PASL. They're huge fans, met part of the seventh man. Jamie, at midnight tonight, this morning, I should say, Paul gave birth to baby Teresa. Ah. Teresa and Jamie. Jamie's supposed to be watching on America One, I was told by her husband, uh, in the hospital. Thank you so much. Congrats from all of us at the Soccer's family to your family. A new Soccer's fan in the world. That's awesome. Clock runs down to 5.20 in the second quarter. The ball's at midfield in a 2-1 San Diego lead. It's Memba fighting with Roberto for possession at center circle. Back over to Cody Ellis. Ellis back to Segu. Soccer's marking up and down the field, but not high pressuring per se. Child's got a little bit behind the play. Soccer's might want a defensive runner for him and consider that strategy this year a little bit more. Child's playing with an knee brace on his right knee this year. It's couch over to Cody Ellis to Frank Memba on the near wall. 
Giles got the scoring started with a brilliant goal. He had 56 last year. He's got one this year. Jeff Hughes on the power play in his soccer's debut to give San Diego the lead. Hughes trying to get the ball from Scotty Martin. Ball pops off of the glass high. Took a funny carom. It came out to Arredondo. Arredondo to Couch. Couch is pressured from behind by Childs, but gets the ball to Nestor in front of his bench. Here comes the sidekick striker. Good touch to the middle. Oh, and a good job by Razor to close that space. Right at the point of contact and not draw a foul. But Childs gives it back. Arredondo with a man to his right. Feeds Nestor. Nestor's shot. It caroms in. That's off, the, that's off of Chris's back. It there. did. It came off of the goal glass off the back of Chris Toth's head and into the goal. And the sidekicks have tied it at two. And Nestor Hernandez has his first goal tonight and fifth of the season in a sidekicks uniform. What a crazy carom. But, hey, we said it before. That's indoor. believe Arredondo gets his second assist on that one, Nick. Hernandez's fifth goal from Arredondo at 421, and it is a 2-2 tie. That was the score at halftime last year, or in February last season, at the Valley View Casino Center. Might that be the score today? Soccer's play the restart forward, but then Hughes under pressure. Long ball, McNeely over the top, headed high by Velez. Going to bounce once, stay off the high glass, and then tip over that high glass and into the crowd. And Dallas will take over there with 4.10 to go in the half. They gave Stavro the assist. I think it was Arredondo. I think it was 28, not 23, and I'm actually kind of sure of that. Memba on the near wall, gets past McNeely, pass to an open David, one touch, shoots! He hit it high off the frame, touched by Toth! Chris Toth has stopped Sean David again. He's so deep into that dome. David's going to be dreaming of Chris Toth tonight. Childs, Farber, give and go pass. Tipped by Stavro on a back heel. David touches it dangerously in the defensive zone. These have to be the best two teams in the league. This is a great, great game. Stavro into Lovegrove. Straight away across the red line. Right between two defenders. And Kachui at the edge of the crease. There was Toth point blank to make that stop. Not... Well struck, but struck on goal. There's Susie back out on the field. The Sackers captain's got it in the far corner. One-on-one with Alice. They're fighting. They're battling. Alice almost got pantsed by Susie. <laughs> ball comes to Betty. Velez, his ball tipped away by Memba. And Frank Memba comes down and rolls it to the bench wall, and, and Diego tracks it down. End-to-end action here. Back and forth. Three minutes, five seconds to play. Second quarter, 2-2 two, two tie. McNeely over to Chris Toth, and Toth finds Roberto on the far wall. Zay fakes to the right and the left. He's got Kylie Couch on him. Passes forward to Susie. Susie sets up near corner this time. With that left foot, he can rake it across the field. Susie has the double team come, tried to pass it back to Roberto, it got past Zay, and he'll have to track it down in midfield. It's been interesting to see what happens in the fourth quarter because these guys are going back and forth end to end. Medina gets a pass from Rivera on right wing, and Diego attacks the crease. Here comes Anthony Ford. This Center step to the right foot. Shot blocked into the crease. There's Segu. He grabs it with two hands. Under 2.30 to go in the first half. Tied at two. A thriller so far. Segu, long ball. Looking for Nestor. He chests it down on the attacking midboards. Skips it off well the done. side wall. Well done, Evan. Yeah, Evan McNeely stayed with him, and Zay Roberto picked up that loose ball. To Diego, around a double team. Plays it back to Zay. Good play instead of trying to challenge two men. Oh, we've got him open. There it is. It's Charles to Reza. Reza. Oh, the yeah. the defender. Oh. Kicked off the line. Kicked off the line by Dallas at two minutes. What great vision by Charles there. He back it to an open Reza lurking on left wing, and it was Bellamy who knocked it off the line at two minutes to keep this game tied at two. Here's a long ball again looking for Reza back post, and Memba... Headed it over the back wall. Uh, in the air, where are they going to give this ball to San Diego? It's a point to the corner. Corner kick for the Sockers. Second free kick. First corner. Trying to break a 2-2 tie. They can find a way to get it to Eddie here. Cheeky is going to play it off the goal wall. Eddie's trying to find some space where he can get that ball. Memba is trying to deny that space. Instead, it's Susie, and it goes off the back of David's head and up into the crowd, and the Salkers will do it again. Their second corner try. Minute 38 to go. Second quarter, 2-2. Childs is telling Velez, hey, go over here, and they'll pass it to you, and you can score. 
It's a good plan. It's cheeky again. Where will he go? Into the crease. He tried. It was deflected by David looking for Farmer, who was crashing in. Farmer plays it off the sidewall, but there's Sagu. He grabs it. And directs traffic. We go down to the last 90 seconds of the second quarter. We're tied 2-2. The season opener for the San Diego Sockers. Frank Memba creeping forward. Memba rolls it back across midfield to Kylie Couch. Couch chips it near wall. Memba. Here he comes. He's got Farmer on him. Nice help, Merck. Mercury Alley comes over to provide double team help. Team defense very well done into the crease. Velez just chips it forward. Childs once again trying for a crafty play. Turns on the bench wall. Back to Chris Toth. Clock ticks down. It's soccer's magic minute. The last minute of the second quarter. Tied at two. Long ball forward. Anthony Medina off the goal wall. Childs was running, but David was there to take it away. Ball never got to Craig. Along the near wall, a long ball played forward. Into the attacking corner, Shamu. Pushed by Velez into that corner. Gets a foot on the ball. Mercury Alley crashes down. Memba on the midboards. Possesses for Dallas. Back post crasher of Lovegrove. Couldn't get it. Memba into the crease. Open. Goal! Well done. Shamu puts it home. And he got the feed from Memba. They tried back-to-back backdoor runs. First Lovegrove. Soccer's defended that one. Second time Shamu. Didn't defend that one. Sidekicks magic. 3-2 they lead. Got caught ball watching a little bit there. Uh, Not watching the runner go to the back post. Got his caught. At 38 seconds. Shamu with the goal. And the assist from Memba was very good. 3-2 Dallas. The restart played from Childs to Roberto, making a long run as Medina, but it was blocked by Arredondo, the pass. Lovegrove's come crashing in. Arredondo into the crease. Lovegrove kicks it into the crowd. And he had Toth out of his crease. He almost got another one. Looks like they're running our forwards out. I see Craig Childs all the way in our own box here. That's not uh, that's not what we want. Shamu, his second goal of the year. Under 30 seconds to play in the first half. The sidekicks may be taking the lead into the locker room. A long ball looking for Susie. Outside the red line. Medina bump from behind up in the air. The taller man, Nestor, wins it away from Zay. Here comes Arredondo on the near wall. It's over to the far wall to Hernandez. Hernandez in the corner. Goal wall pass. Arredondo missed, kicks it into the crowd, but he had a chance. Three seconds left. Looks like Dallas will lead at halftime. Toth will run to the top of his crease. He'll go as far as he can. He throws it to Susie. Can he get a shot? No, he cannot. Medina, the whistle sounds to end the first half of play. Well, in that second quarter, San Diego scored back-to-back goals from Craig Childs and Jeff Hughes, but back came the sidekicks. Nestor Hernandez at 421. Patrick Shamu at 38 seconds on a great backdoor play. 3-2 Dallas. And I dare say it bears repeating, Paul, it could have been a lot worse. It, it could have been. Chris Toth has been outstanding this first half. He, he's given up three goals, but uh, he's been outstanding. It, it easily could be six goals. Two shorthanded breakaways in the first power play for. One shorthanded breakaway on the second power play for. And a breakaway 30 seconds into the game, no less. Two other guys got behind the defense and couldn't get a clean shot on goal. The Sockers retreat and regroup, trailing 3-2. to two. We are at halftime at the Valley View Casino Center. Craig Elston, Paul Wright, Dave Evenson, Nick Pellegrino, and our Soccer's cast and crew. We will close down temporarily the audio stream on Livestream.com, and the first half will be instantly saved as an archive to go back and replay later tonight or tomorrow as you choose. The America One Sports Feed will continue unmonitored through the course of halftime and Paul and I will be right back in about 12 minutes with third quarter action. It's the Sidekicks 3, the Soccers 2. You're watching the PASL on AmericaOneSports.com and listening on San Diego Soccers, SDSoccers.com and live stream.
contest. Check one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Here we go. Second half action. Welcome back on America One Sports and Livestream.com. Soccer's trailing the Dallas Sidekicks 3-2. to two. Craig Elston and Paul Wright back here with you live from the Valley View Casino Center. Sidekicks got two goals in the last four and a half minutes to turn around a 2-1 Soccer's League and take lead and take the advantage into halftime. What adjustments will Phil Salvaggio make? What counter adjustments will Tatu and his side make? 30 minutes to decide this one. And the Sockers are defending the western goal to my right and attacking right to left. The ball is in that corner. A giveaway. David into the crease trying to catch the runner over there. Kachui. He did not get a shot on goal and Scotty Martin comes over to try and take it away. Bellamy stands in between. Now at last, Roberto turns and gets it out of the zone. And once again, oh, very early in the quarter, Dallas gets a really good chance. Yeah, it looks like he's switched up the midfield lines a little bit. And, and uh, I saw Farber and uh, uh, Hughes on the field at the same time. They were on the same line earlier on in the game. So it looks like he's made a, f- a little adjustment in the midfield. 3-2 Dallas. Sidekicks in white. Soccer's in blue and black with yellow socks. It's Frank Memba back up behind midfield to Cody Ellis and over to Kylie Couch. The Wiley midfielder, Couch. Ellis, offensive midfield. Love grows on the far wall. He accepts a pass from Couch. Crosses, trying to feed Memba as a target forward. Over there and sliding down to a hip was Rovira to control the ball. And Luna punts it out of the zone all the way back to Segu. Dallas 3, San Diego 2. Clock underway here in the third quarter. 13 minutes, 15 seconds to play. It's Lovegrove on the far wall trying to get past Rivera. Put two hands in his shoulders. Diego got the ball. Forward, Childs tips it back to Diego. Bends the ball to that far wall. Velez trying to run it down. He's got Ellis with him. Battle one-on-one in that corner. Ellis steps in the ball, wins it, rolls it to Segu. Well done. Segu punts it out. Trying to go over the top of Evan McNeely. And it one hops over the low wall and into the stands. Arredondo was there. He has been a force in this game. The newest player, a ringer, added to the Dallas line. Uh, literally given to me about three hours before game time, Paul. And he has two assists in this game in a one-goal game. McNeely chases David off of a runner and passes it back to Christo. I'd like to see Diego get a little bit more involved in this game. He's so talented, and, and that left foot is so dynamic. I'd like to see him get a little bit more involved if he could. 12-24 to go in the third quarter. No scoring yet in this quarter. Here's Raimondo Reza running up from behind to win a ball at his own red line. Childs passes it over to Eddie Velez, and San Diego tries to possess. Childs runs off. Susie runs on. Gets a ball along the bench wall. It hopped up off of his thigh, and Aaron will pass it all the way back on one hop to Chris Toth, who chests it down in his crease, doesn't touch it with his hands, avoids a foul, and passes it to Eddie Velez. Toth has never lost in goal as a starter for the San Diego Sockers. And the Sockers have never lost at home since coming back to action in 2009, Paul. They're 46-0 all-time, dating back to Del Mar, 11-0 here at the Valley View Casino Center last year. We got a lot on the line tonight. And a crowd of over 5,800 will get you that exact attendance later on, but this will be the Sockers' best in PASL history, almost 6,000 tonight. Martin knocks down Nestor Hernandez and is called for a foul on the near boards. Team foul number four on San Diego. Dallas carried one over from the second half. This will be a free kick from the near wall mid boards for Dallas. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous position here. It's Lovegrove. Passes it out behind the red line to Memba straight away. Left footed off the head of Velez and out of bounds. That is not a top of the box shot because it was a deflected shot out of bounds. Memba calling for top of the box. He knows better. Trying to fool Kia Devin. I can't fool Kia. Back out to Cody Ellis to Lovegrove. Sidekicks possess. Lovegrove down low. Shamu give and go off the goal wall. Lovegrove got a touch on it, but Toth was able to deflect it and then grab it off the goal glass. Still 3-2 Dallas. And remember, Toth has had four breakaways against him already tonight and a 2v1 and a great backdoor feed that left him on an island. And yet the game is only 3-2 Dallas. I think we know what they'll be working on in practice next week. Yes, sir. 
Memba on the near wall in front of the penalty box. Shamu and Martin. Martin wins it. Straight away, Roberto. Give and go back to Martin. Can he run down on it? Segu comes out of his crease. Martin is knocked down. Segu's in the crease. Double team comes over there. Physical play in the corner. And out with the ball comes Cody Ellis. All the way to Lovegrove in front of the soccer's bench. Defensive midfield. Memba calling for a backdoor pass. He gets it on right wing. Tipped away by Jeff Hughes. One on one. Hughes wins that battle and passes it to Craig Giles. Defensive midfield. Hughes has a goal in his soccer's debut on the power play. It gave San Diego a 2-1 lead as he's, they took it in the last five minutes. He's definitely provided a spark for this team. With Farber making a hard run, Segu just calmly flicked it over the top of the charging midfielder. Balls back to the San Diego zone. First five minutes just about off the clock here at the Valley View Casino Center. 10.05 to go third quarter. Dallas leads San Diego 3-2. Toth, the long ball distribution, looking for Childs. Childs trying to... Sell a foul, gets up at the mid-crease, picks it up, turns to the right foot, shot! Did it go over the line? No, Sagu stopped it halfway over the line, and the game is still 3-2. to two. The crowd booing, but it's got to get all the way over the line, Paul, and Sagu stopped it halfway. Farber knocks down a ball offensive midfield, wins it, trying to get past Bellamy, and Bellamy took it away. He's got to get a little bit more organized, guys, a little bit more organized. Here's McNeely on the near wall. Farber runs up on it, two Oregon State teammates from back in the early 2000s combining. A pass now. Here comes David on the near wall with a runner in the middle. Arredondo. David tucks it. Back post. Shot. Save. Toth. Nestor Hernandez came crashing in. That might go in in the Eastern Division. Nestor not in the West. Toth guarded the near post. 9-10 to go. Rivera battling for possession with Ellis. Ellis is going to run off after a hard shift. Here comes David forward. Straight away to the red line. Four touches. Turns it back. And it'll be settled by Bellamy. Under nine to play third quarter. 3-2 Dallas. Sidekicks have had much the better of it tonight. Soccer's are still a magic touch away from tying. Bellamy at center circle. Far wall, David. Couch comes out. Back at center circle accepts. His pass deflected off of Childs. Yeah. It seems a little bit of confusion out there. We're not sure if we're dropping back or if we're going. On the near wall, Bellamy... Target forward up top out of Dondo. McNeely comes away to take it away. Looks around, doesn't know where to go, and winds up giving it away. Allowed Arredondo to come back. No foul as Memba went down. Childs had a hand in the small of his back. Velez tries to connect a pass to McNeely. Evan did not get it and then kicked it out of bounds. And it'll be Dallas ball, and McNeely's a little bit out of control. Needs to play a little bit calmer right now. It's his first game. He'll, he'll settle down as he goes through the season. He's getting used to the guys. Memba rolls it straight out to Love Grove and back to Frank Memba. Bellamy, high pressure shown by San Diego. Cheeky Luna crashing the crease. Segu plays it out to midfield. Shamu heads it to Memba, who chests it down. Battle for possession in front of the two benches. Susie gets a foot on it. Loose ball to center circle. McNeely touches it to Cheeky on the near wall. Velez is trolling around the top of the crease as the ball goes back to Raimondo Reza. And Scotty Martin comes out. Martin had the ball go off of his foot. That allowed... Yeah, look out. Shamu came over to pressure. And now it's up to Chris Toth to be the safety valve there. And Toth gets the loose ball. Again, some risky passing by San Diego. Toth settles it. Now a long ball forward. Can Susie, he heads it off the goal glass. Comes back. Oh, left footed right. shot off the glass and over. Good effort. Now like did it. it deflect off a Dallas player? Stavro is arguing they may have awarded a free kick and said that Susie's shot was deflected before it went over. But Aaron knew he had a great chance. And a timeout called by San Diego. The officials timeout, I should say. 3-2, to two, Dallas leading San Diego. That was not a team timeout. That was the officials timeout. Do you want to improve your running speed and overall athletic ability? Well, you should go to Speed to Burn, right? That must be my cue. <laughs> Tell everybody about your company. Oh, uh, it's about time. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, <laughs> killing me, kid. No, no. Paul, uh, Speed to Burn, that's what I do now. Uh, you know, it's full time uh, now that I'm not playing. Um, helped a lot of these guys out here in the soccers and the community, um, football, baseball, basketball, lacrosse. Uh, I do it all. Whatever, whatever it is for speed, whatever. You, if you need to get faster, more agile, uh, I, I'm your guy. Speed to burn. Uh, www.speedtoburn.com. Thank you very much, Paul. Very well done, sir. And greatly appreciated. Your time here today, appreciated as well, my friend. Uh, it's an honor to be here and still be part of this whole thing. Rita's Italian Ice in Carlsbad is a proud sponsor of the San Diego Soccers. Put a smile on your face with one of Rita's Carlsbad's 
delicious Italian ice and frozen custard treats. Come out and enjoy some ice, custard, and happiness at Rita's Carlsbad. Back into play, 7.34. It's a goal throw for Segu. That was not deflected. So a goal throw. I didn't think it was deflected, by the way. And uh, Kachui finding on defensive midfield. Kindly couch. Bends a ball into the attacking zone. Far corner. It's a 1v1. Velez, oh. no, no. Eddie slipping and falling down. Chips it up into the crowd and surrenders a top-of-the-box free kick to San Diego. Like he got stepped on the back of his foot. Yeah, Velez says that Nestor stepped on the back of his foot, shows his heel out of his shoe. And now, now Kia says, and play, though. that's <laughs> nice. Here comes a free kick. This is the second free kick for Dallas. They lead it. Three to two. One free kick for San Diego. Neither team has converted yet. Three-man wall. Three of the tallest boys. It's Hughes, Susie, and Medina. Other than Mark, the three tallest. Looks like they want a timeout. And that's indeed correct. Nick Stavro and the sidekicks use a timeout. They have one remaining in today's game. 3-2 Dallas. And a huge set piece coming up here on America One Sports and live stream. So I saw some comments either on Twitter or uh, via commentary on the live stream feed that folks had gone over to America One and thought that it was still uh, pay-per-view and $8. And then I I hope you saw fellow commenters telling you folks that you can sign up and then it's for free. So do not fear the Sockers that have paid the check. And those games will be free all year on America One Sports video and audio at home. We will uh, put our audio uh, with other teams' video when appropriate on the road. And audio all year on Livestream.com. And we thank you so much for being here. Here comes a free kick for Dallas. You know, I talked to a few different people uh, here today at halftime while we were off the mic. And, I mean, the general consensus, Paul, is that, hey, soccer's aren't down four. That's good news. I mean, it could have been. Dallas had so many chances they did not convert. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of firepower. The, the thing about us is we've got a lot of players that can score goals. Here it is. Memba off the frame. Rebound. Hernandez couldn't get the shot. It was blocked by McNeely in mid-crease. Hernandez back to the back post. Nobody there. David now finds it in the far corner. Chips it in. A loose ball. Susie counterattack San Diego. The free kick no good. Both sides 0 for 2. Velez tries to sell a foul. Doesn't get it. Memba on counterattack with David running in the middle of the field. David cuts it to Memba. Got behind his right leg. And McNeely comes crashing over to win it back for San Diego. Under seven to play in the third quarter. Three, two sidekicks leading the Sockers. It's McNeely. Exposed on the far wall. Across the red line he goes. He chips a long ball forward looking for Craig Childs. It tips off the seam of the high glass. Unlucky bounce. Yeah, it comes out to David. It's supposed to go to Childs. Ball hops up high. McNeely thought he was going to chest it. It went over his chest. He had to turn and tip it back to Chris Toad. And Evans just feeling like every ball's hopping too far, going too fast. Things need to slow down for the man trying to make a big impression with his new team. Well, he's getting every opportunity to play tonight. Rivera dancing in front of the sidekicks bench. Over to San Roberto, defensive midfield. 6-10 in the third quarter, clock running. 3-2 Dallas. Childs looking for a long ball. Walled off easily. Long enough for Segu to grab it away with Craig lurking. It was uh, Bellamy there. Kachui has the ball chipped away from San Roberto. Two hops to the far wall. Knocked down by Lovegrove. Punted away from him between his legs by Childs. Uh, Farber, two Childs. Childs gets knocked down by Ellis. No foul into the far corner. And the ball taken away. Sagu flicks it over the prone Childs. Farber comes crashing into the corner to fight. He tried to center it to Craig and was deflected by Ellis. Over now to the corner again, into the crease. A goal pass, but it was missed, kicked by Rovira. He had two targets and missed them both. 2v1 counterattack if they hurry. Here comes Arredondo with Lovegrove. Arredondo shoots, he scores! And Dallas is ahead by two. And again, the San Diego defense is exposed. And again, the sidekicks of the faster team down the field. It's 4-2 Dallas at 5-27. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think with our lineup that we would be getting exposed with the speed. But they must have, uh, what you said, they hired a strength and conditioning coach in the offseason, and it's definitely paying off. Gabriel Arredondo. 
He's got a goal and two assists tonight, and we had never heard of this man. I believe the assist to Lovegrove. 527, 4 to 2, Dallas. Soccer's are in big trouble. This crowd is on their heels. They're getting quiet. When you can hear the music, it's a bad sign. As Medina plays it back to Toth on the restart. Still plenty of time. Soccer's need to score. Toth off of the goal glass. It caroms out to the soccer's red line and easily chipped by a couch. Medina has to run black with Sean David harassing him back to Chris Toth. It's the long balls, the, the boom ball, really, strategy yeah. has worked for Dallas tonight. Yeah, well, they're just trying to, they're, they're breaking out, and they're playing long balls, and they're, they're running us. Aradondo scored. It was Lovegrove on the assist, as I thought. Aradondo has three points tonight. Attacking zone, San Diego. Medina fighting for possession with David. Two men there. Memba comes out with it for the sidekicks. And then there, there, there they go again. Here comes Memba. Reza running with him on his hip, doing everything he can just to stay back. Reza got tripped as the ball came to Toth. No foul. And here comes San Diego. Now they've got a line running forward. Velez to Medina. McNeely running on left wing. Medina on right wing. Gets pushed gently into the boards. No foul. Lovegrove turns the other way. Another counter, and it's Evans' job to run it down. And Medina with a, a quiet word. Oh, and then he just bumps right into Nestor Hernandez and again play on at midfield. Here's Jeff Hughes. Hughes coming forward. Three touches. The left footer. Bends it off the goal wall into Childs. Great he got ball. knocked down by Ellis in the crease. Tried to sell a foul on a penalty kick and didn't get it. Fight for possession, and it's scooped out by Kachui. Rolls through McNeely all the way out to Toth at his red line. Under four to go, third quarter. Dallas leads four to two. Hughes to McNeely. Out to Zay Roberto. Roberto across midfield. Tips it to the red line. Childs back out to Toth. In San Diego's history in the PASL, all of their losses have been by one goal only. They're down by two here in the third. It's Hughes with a good run. Goal wall pass. Childs is down in the crease. Nobody there. Nestor Hernandez at the red line collects easily for Dallas. He's got Lovegrove running in front of him. Mike Mercuriali does a nice job to wall him off. Now Nestor tries to beat him to the right. And there was Mark to stay with him. Sprinkles Donut due to Mike Mercuriali. Good shift. 3.15 to go third quarter. Dallas with that 4-2 lead and the only goal of the second half. And the soccer's crowd has had nothing to cheer about for a long time. Anadondo battling at the edge of the crease. Toth had to head it. Possession is still up for grabs. Rivera and Arredondo fighting in the corner. Roberto comes over, but there's Memba to accept the ball. Oh, Dallas looks like they have the ball in a string right now. Stavro to Sean David. David comes through Martin, comes through Roberto, takes just to the right foot, trying to oh, cut it back on Toth, back into the crease. There was Cheeky Luna and Diego Rivera to knock that ball down. Arredondo had an unguarded goal. Somehow the soccer didn't score. Childs is open. Can Martin get the ball to him? He does. At the red line, Craig Childs with a man in front of him. He couldn't beat him. Comes into the corner. Tries to turn to the right foot mid-boards. Childs back to the red line. Over to an open razor. Velez overlapping run to the far board. Straight away, Martin to Childs. 224. Childs long shot blocked by Memba. All the way back to Toth. And here's McNeely. And San Diego needs something to get this crowd going. It's Farber back to Evan McNeely. We're looking a little lively. We just need one goal here. We're looking a lot livelier. Off the bench, or off the uh, boards, I should say, to Susie in the, in the far corner. Susie rolls it out, right point, Eddie Velez. Under two to go, third quarter. Memba tips it from between Velez's legs. Back heels it forward to Jamie Lovegrove. Lovegrove goes uh. down, spins around. Kia Depena reaches and pulls a blue card on Brian Farber in San Diego. Is that a straight blue? It's a straight blue on the Sockers. And San Diego will go on the penalty kill, and Lovegrove stays down in front of his bench. It's a trip on Farber at 151 third quarter, and Brian has to be careful not to get a yellow on top of it. And Phil Salvaggio immediately gets a yellow because he walked all the way to the far side of the field. Automatic uh -oh. yellow card. Benches are, come, benches are clearing. And look out now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pushing and shoving. Uh -oh. Ray Taylor, assistant coach in the middle of this. Why are every sidekick is off of the bench? Some of the soccer's stayed put. And I wonder if they felt like, I mean, I can't imagine they thought it was intentional. Now, Farber is a firebrand, and, and he's a trash talker as well, and who knows what's being said out there. I will mention that Lovegrove has still not gotten up. This is, this is bad timing for us. We were, I, we're down two, but I, I felt the goal coming there. Jeff Hughes was making a couple of good runs. He was about to come back on for his next shift. And uh, he, he looks determined to make something happen. And this is just going to prolong it. 
There's a minute 51 to play. Farber is going to get two minutes. There was also a yellow on... Phil Salvaggio for descent. That's the first yellow of the game for San Diego. One for Dallas as well. It's not good when a coach comes off the bench and makes contact with a player, though. Eddie Velez is going to serve the misconduct. That's an interesting choice, seeing as soccer's are going on penalty kill that they put Eddie in the in the box. Uh, Farber has to serve the two-minute blue. I don't know why Eddie would go serve a misconduct and not a guy like a Mike Mercury Alley. Why would you put one of your most talented players in the box? I think he was sent to the box. Could they have been nailed for two yellows? Because if so, a second player would have to serve Cause, cause Phil's Far yellows. Farber's saying it wasn't me, so it, it must have been Eddie. Well... I'm not sure. They they have changed the penalty on the on the scoreboard, Paul, to Velez. Yeah. But I, I think it's hard to tell from here, but I think Eddie might have made the the first original contact on that foul there. Well, Farmer staying out there. There you go. The the penalty uh, changed, but the soccer's uh, still. Got a two-minute blue, and still someone needs to serve the misconduct. And I think that's now why Kia Depina is getting called back to the officials' box. Well, this has not been the third quarter that the San Diego Soccers were dreaming of. Well, we've got Diego and Farber out there, and, and they're, uh, they could easily score a shorthanded goal for us. The Soccers thank Dr. Corey Lichtman, the sports chiropractor who keeps our players healthy on and off the field. Find out more. Go to drcorey.com. That's C-O-R-E-Y, drcorey.com. Ray Taylor has been ejected from this game. That is, the, I believe, the right call as uh, we did see him get right in the middle of that fracas. And Taylor has been ejected. Yeah, you got to let the players handle that. Mike Mercury Alley indeed is running into the sin bin. He will serve the five-minute misconduct. So Velez and Mercury Alley in the box. And now Brian Farber is back over there. And I'm wondering Jeff Hughes, if Jeff Hughes is coming in. Uh, Farber's in. Farber's in the box. Farber's in the box ball. I, I honestly think Eddie tried to pull a fast one and get in there instead of him. Oh, really? <laughs> because Farber's back in there after much Sturm and Drang, and, and there he is. He is serving the penalty. The power play begins. It starts at 151. It can carry nine seconds into the fourth quarter, or Dallas could score for a 5-2 to two lead. It's Memba at the red line. Over to left wing, Stavro. Down to the far corner. Aradondo, who has been playing a major role in this game with a goal and two assists, to Memba. Memba, out left wing, Stavro. Minute and a half to go in the third. Memba's shot blocked by Hughes. Comes to the mid-boards, Nestor Hernandez. Goal wall pass deflected by Roberto. Zay keeps it in that corner. Hernandez, Shamu, Memba in the crease. Knocked away by Roberto. What recovery defense. And the sidekicks have to play it all the way back. It's as if the soccer's cleared it. Minute 13 in the third. Dallas trying to add to a 4-2 to two lead. Memba on right wing. It is Hernandez. Memba... Over to Stavro. Stavro's long shot is high off the frame. Comes to the edge of the crease, and there's Diego Rivera shorthanded. Rivera in between two players. He chips it out to the bench wall. Forward to Jeff Hughes. Hughes shorthanded attacking zone on the far wall. Comes out to right point. He wastes some time and plays it back to Chris Toth. Well done. Under 48 seconds to play in the third quarter. And 4-2. to two. San Diego on the penalty kill. There's Velez. Chests it down to the near wall. Low boards. Kept it in. He gets knocked down. Hernandez takes the ball forward, but first a penalty on Stavro for pushing Velez. It was a team foul. Pushing Velez into the board. Second team foul on Dallas. 37 seconds left in the quarter. 46 in the power play. And McNeely will send the ball over to Eddie. Right in front of the seventh man cheering section. This crowd was raucous in the second quarter. It's been quiet in the third. 37 seconds to play in this quarter. Shorthanded the Sockers. Trailing 4-2. to two. McNeely, his uh, free kick off of Hernandez's leg. It caromed up to center circle. Shamu with McNeely down to an E. Plays it back to Stavro, and here come the sidekicks forward. 25 seconds. 
It's Chemu. Tips it back to Stavro. Off into midfield. Memphis straight away. Hernandez on right wing. A whistle. A card in the crease. Oh, my goodness. And on who? Is Zay. it on Zay? Zay. Zay Roberto just got carded in the middle of the crease in the run of play, battling with Patrick Chamu. And the Sockers are going to be two men down for 28 seconds. An elbow on Zay Roberto. And Zay is pointing at his eye to Kelly Mock saying, you missed the first the first strike. We, we, we've got to regroup here. Losing the composure a little bit here. First things first, you got to get to the end of the quarter, but the Sockers are in grave danger of conceding and going down three. This will be a free kick from just outside the top of the crease for, for Dallas, 5v3. 19 seconds in the quarter. Memba to Stavro, back to Memba, back to Stavro, 15 seconds. Stavro back to Memba. Triangle defense, down to the corner, Shamu, into the crease, it goes, out comes Stavro, point blank save, rebound off the frame, down to Eddie Velez, five seconds, Nestor steps through, his shot Chris blocked Toth by Toth, in. Chris Toth, amazing, ball hops on the floor, on the edge of the boards, and right there, the end of the third quarter, a physical battle between Martin and Nestor to end the quarter. Great job, Chris. My Nine goodness. seconds left on the two-man advantage for Dallas when the fourth begins. A minute 41 in the second penalty. Everybody comes out to congratulate Chris on that one. Oh, what an incredible run of goaltending by Chris Toth to end that quarter. But the sidekicks score the only goal. Gabriel Arredondo is first from Lovegrove. 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes left, Paul, and the soccer's perfect record at home. And, and I got to tell you, and I'm just, again, we've got nationwide observers this is a national broadcast. I know we got a big crowd watching back in Dallas as well. Right now, if you could let me go to, to Caliente and put a bet on the sidekicks, I would do it. Because right now, and we got to see da we got to see San Diego turn it to a whole new gear in the fourth quarter. So far, they have been by far the lesser side. Yes, but but again, we have so much firepower. I mean, Craig Childs, Aaron Susie. Uh, Hughes is, is, is stepping up tonight. Uh, he, he, we've got Diego. I, I'm, I'm waiting for Diego to, to, to step up. He's a big X factor in this game. You know, we, we, we've got so much firepower down there. I, I, I'm looking at these guys, and, 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 you know, their heads are down. They've got to get their heads up, and they, they've got to have that soccer's magic and believe in that soccer's magic. I'm not saying I don't believe in it, buddy. I'm just saying that, you know, that's the thing about magic. You can't always call it on cue. <laughs> want to thank everyone for tuning in don't forget another tough test next saturday it's college night as the soccers take on the monterey flash tell me a little bit about your past days playing the monterey flash paul oh it's always a battle i, I don't want to call those guys dirty but it, it's it's going to be a physical game and there 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 may be some more ejections coming out next week Fourth quarter getting set to begin. They're collecting all the Frisbees. And again, uh, when this quarter begins, nine seconds of two-man advantage that the sidekicks were able to plot. And then a minute 32 beyond that of power play. The Sockers are 46-0 all-time at home. Tonight in front of a Soccer's PASL record crowd of 5,658. An incredible turnout. The first, Soccer's have done everything except complete the job on the scoreboard tonight. First things first, we've got to kill this penalty somehow, and then we get a goal and we're right back in this game. And I'm sure that's what everyone's, that's what we're all thinking down there on the bench right now. Here we go. The whistle sounds. The Sockers get the fourth quarter restart because they are shorthanded. And it is bent into the Dallas zone. There's three seconds left in the two-man advantage. Two and one. Out of the box, Brian Farber back to a one-man advantage for a minute 30 for Dallas with a 4-2 to two lead. It's Memba across the red line. Over to Stavro. Stavro cuts it back to Memba on right wing. 
Over to Hernandez in the midboards. Tipped by Shamu. Out to Stavro. Right back to Memba. Memba high off the frame. Bounces out to the left footer, Stavro. Stavro rolls it down to the near corner. Adedondo back out to Stavro. 110 left in the power play. 4 2 Dallas leads. Fourth quarter action from the Valley View Casino Center. Very organized on this defensive power play. We look very strong here. Stavro. Goal wall pass. And McNeely chips the ball off and keeps it in play to avoid a defensive clear. And here's and Brian Farber with a runner. Oh, but it was Stavro knocking down a pass. Hughes had a chance. Here comes Eddie Velez springing off the bench. Hughes goes on. Memba stepping over the ball. Top of the crease. Over to Stavro. Stavro had his pass blocked by Scotty Martin, who looks around. Can Eddie make a run? Martin rolls it along the near wall, trying to bend it forward. Hernandez outruns him to the ball. Then it comes loose. Oh, and Sagu staggers back on his left hip and grabs that ball. Great hustle, Eddie. 30 seconds left in the power play for Dallas. 4-2, to two, sidekicks lead. 13.45 on the fourth quarter clock. Velez harassing Hernandez. Back to Sagu. The only problem, we're going to use a lot of energy killing these two power plays. Stavro to Memba. Memba, offensive midfield. Shamu gets bumped off the ball. Rivera tried to feed Farber on a run. Memba instead feeds Guarda. Guarda is out there. Guarda with the man who left him. Oh, and it bent wide to the right. Hernandez is shot as high off the frame. Farber can't get a touch on it. It comes back to Guarda. Two seconds. One. Memba at the red line. His shot high off the frame. Power play is over. Oh, Soccer's killed them both. Zay is loose up top. Can the ball get to him? Zay has to head it to the far wall and could not spring on a breakaway out of the box. Here he is on right wing. He steps over the ball. Goal wall pass near wall or near post. It was Sagu to protect. Ball's down there. Two on one soccers. A second sidekick comes out and Dallas gets out of their zone. Half the job is done. We've killed the power play. Now we just need to get a goal. And a two man disadvantage at that. Dallas with that four to two lead. Soccers need the next goal and they need it to get their crowd back into it ball as much as anything else yeah it's Kachui David scoops a ball angle pass over to Kachui on right wing bends a high one oh what a goal what a shot Golazo Brunil Kachui what a shot that could be the dagger my friends time to play but the sidekicks get a brilliant goal they're ahead five to two and looking strong gotta give him credit on that shot unbelievable shot that's one of the better shots you'll see. That Unbelievable. Was, that was a three-pointer in the old days. Yeah. It would have been a three-pointer in a, in a different league. Brunel Kachui is first for the sidekicks. 12-33 the time of goal. That's four straight goals. Soccer's last goal was 8-0-2 of the second quarter. No assist on that goal. Restart. Farthest the Soccers have ever trailed in PASL play is right now. Down three in the fourth quarter. It's Velez. Double team crashing into the near boards. Triple team into the crease. Susie over to Reza. Heads it down. Left footed bouncing shot was wide to the right. David knocks it down. Out to Scotty Martin. Martin trying to three feed Susie. Ball was deflected. Here comes the sidekicks. David long run. Middle of the field. Feeds it to over to a player who gets knocked down. Ball is wide to the right. Loose in the crease. And Luna has to skip it out of there. Oh, my goodness. It was Arredondo over there trying to get his second goal of the game. Under 12 to play. Soccer's fans are sitting on their hands. It is Memba coming forward. Memba and Velez battle for possession. So few fouls, by the way, as well. Dallas picked up six fouls quick since then, only two. And that is spanning over almost two quarters of play now. We've got no choice but to go high pressure now. And with some aged legs, this could be dangerous. Sagu, long ball over the defense into the near corner attacking zone. Scotty Martin's got it. Back heels into the zone, and Toth had to kick it out under pressure. That was a scary pass. And over to Frank Memba, and San Diego's just getting nothing done defensively. Memba beats Velez, comes in from the near wall, shoots in a point-blank save. Chris Toth with a left hand to deny a sixth Dallas goal. Looks like our legs are getting a little heavy out there now. Here is Sagu to the far wall. Such a big advantage of these guys to already have a game under their belt. Reza forward to Childs. Greg Childs on right wing bracketed. Goal wall pass. Roberto crashing in. Couldn't get a shot away. And Shamu plays it to Sagu. Long ball distribution. Here's David. Medina has to stay with him. Anthony's 35-year-old legs up to the task on that play. David controls, though. Passes it Nestor. Nestor, clever ball handling to get past McNeely, but then he passes it to the near wall. And 10.30 to go, and the sidekicks cycle and regroup. So we got to go high pressure, guys. 
Segu out of his line. Over the red line. Long ball. Shamu chested into the near corner. Goal wall pass. Looking for the head of Love Grove over his head. And Reza tracks it down in the far corner. If it connects, he scores an auto goal. Reza tries to pass it and it deflects off Kia Debena's leg. And now a long ball. Easily knocked down at midfield. Medina up high. Tries to win it past Shamu over a jumping attempt by Roberto. It goes over the penalty box wall. Out of play to Dallas. 9.56 to go. Friends, the Sockers have been dominated tonight. This is the worst performance in four years in one game of their PASL history. By far, but give credit to Dallas. They have induced this performance. San Diego has never looked less competitive than they do tonight. Kachui loses a ball to Raimondo Reza. Raimondo, long ball, looking for Childs. Knocks it down on right wing. Steps to the left foot. Coming over to Kachui to harass. Out to Reza. Ray to the right foot. Back to McNeely. McNeely behind the red line. Skipping shot. And it goes in. Oh, it went off of Segu and trickled in. And Evan McNeely beyond the red line. Makes it 5-3. 9.35 to play. Come on, guys. Let's get excited now. Let's get excited. Get this crowd back into it. That ball deflected on the way in, and Segu didn't see it. It kind of ticked off his left hand and went into the goal. 9.35 that time, a goal, 5-3. First goal since 8.02 in the second quarter. That gets the fans out of their feet, out of their seats and onto their feet. Reza gets the assist, his first point of the year. Got... uh two goals by the new guys tonight fresh legs ball hops over the low wall defensive midfield last touch by Dallas San Diego and it'll be a free kick for Scotty Martin in front of the penalty boxes 925 to play Scotty long ball looking for Susie flicks it into the crease up high Sigu, he walks into the goal was he pushed by Brian? No count goal. It, count it. No? The light's flashing, but Kia Depina says no goal. I don't think, did he touch him? He must have said Brian Farber pushed Sagu into the net. Sagu backed into the net with the ball. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see the replay on that, that one. That was odd. Toth has a man crashing in to knock down a ball. And point blank, Shamu shoots and a save. Chris Toth again out of nowhere comes up with a huge save. And San Diego still has a glimmer of hope. Scott Martin to Brian Farber. Soccer's breaking forward 3v3. Farber left wing, bad pass. And right there was Bellamy played it off the soccer's bench wall. Rivera crashing over. David punts it over to Toth. Defensive zone. 8.45 to go. 5-3 Dallas. So, out to defensive midfield to play it on the near wall. Cheeky Luna has no points tonight. Luna is fouled on that near wall and will set up a free kick on right wing. That's the third foul on Dallas. San Diego at four. Soccer's are 0 for 2 on the power play. Dallas 0 for 3. Dallas had three breakaways on San Diego power plays. Free kick. Can San Diego get something here? It's cheeky to a two-man wall. Runs over it. Childs will shoot. He bends it off the left. Crossbar and post. And it comes down to Mike Mercury Alley. His high ball pressuring. Jamie Lovegrove is Eddie Velez. Eddie wins it on the near wall. He turns back and Lovegrove's behind him. Here comes Eddie. Off into midfield. Long shots wide to the left. Bounces around. Pinball's in the corner. Headed over the wall by Arredondo. And soccer's ball right there. 8-17 to go. Dallas leads 5-3. This will be a free kick for the Sockers. It's McNeely running in. Skips it along that near wall, far wall. Velez tried to tip it to Luna. Ball taken away by Cody Ellis. And here comes Ellis. Feeds it forward. McNeely loses touch to Lovegrove. Lovegrove shoots near post. Save Chris Toth. McNeely let his man loose. Here's one, Childs. One goal here. It'll change the whole game. Reza with an open Medina in the crease. Couldn't see him. And got a double team on the near wall. Medina was wide open momentarily. Giles tried to step through a double team. Memba won the ball. Memba on the near mid boards. Bent out and staying in play. A defensive clear by Bellamy, but it didn't go over the wall. Sockers come forward, trailing 5-3, 7.40 to go in the fourth. 
It's Giles turning to the left foot. Harassed. Plays it into the far corner to Medina. Medina with Couch and Arredondo over there. Ball comes hopping out. Stepping over is Velez. Velez knocks down a high ball. He shoots. High off the frame. That's what we're looking for, though. Keep shooting, guys. Keep shooting. We'll get one. Medina has to play it back to Chris Doth. 7-15. The clock is on the side of the side kicks. San Diego needs the next goal. Hughes coming forward. Jeff Hughes targets Childs. Give it go. go back there to Jeff. Go. And a save Segu. And Hernandez clears it. A top of the box free kick for San Diego. 7-0-3 officials timeout. The Sockers have a set piece coming up. They trail 5-3. I think we try to get Jeff Hughes a little bit more involved here. It looks very dangerous out there. I agree with you. Wyndham Garden, San Diego is conveniently located across the street from the Valley View Casino Center. We welcome your friends or family to stay with us all year round, support the San Diego Soccer's team and our soccer girls as well. Try the best meatballs anywhere, guaranteed. Firehouse Subs Meatball Sub, premium ground beef and pork, aged Parmesan, imported Romano, toasted breadcrumbs and Italian spices topped with zesty marinara and Wisconsin provolone. Try the Firehouse Meatball. Take one bite, one way beats their way. If you don't agree, it's free. Firehouse Subs, founded by firemen. Visit our three San Diego County locations, Encinitas, Oceanside, and Point Loma. Again, 5,658 in the house. A new soccer's PASL record. Timeout almost over. Just over seven minutes left in this game, Paul. Huge top of the box free kick. What do you think they plot here in timeout? Well, we had a we the first top of the box we had when we went down low to Susie. I thought that was our best play so far. But we've got a lot of weapons out there. It's we've got to take what they give us. And, 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 and Cheeky, Cheeky makes good decisions. At the top of the box there, it's all about making the right decision. Phil Salvaggio and Segu jawing at the end of that timeout. Philigan out on the field, just walking you know? his players out. It's yeah. Cheeky she and Susie. Op- he has the option to shoot it. Looks like he's got Charles down low. Charles is far corner. Medina is near post. Velez far post. Susie shoots. Save Segu, rebound, Medina steps over it, and Segu grabs it point blank. He throws a long ball out. It connects over the head of David, and that allowed Susie to get back. It touched the top of David's head, and then Susie fouls him on the far wall. That is the fifth foul on San Diego. They're one away from another blue card, and that blue card could be critical in this game. Yeah, that's a big foul. That means San Diego has to be a little bit less aggressive defensively as well because everyone on the team knows the next one concedes a blue. 6.45 6.45 to play. Soccer's down two goals at home. Segu across the red line. Long ball. Looking for Hernandez. It tips off a seam of the glass. Farber's fighting with Hernandez for control. Velez doesn't know where to go. Shamu's dancing behind him. Double team comes out to Shamu. Got past Velez. Now he tips it back to Stavro. Sidekicks know they can stay, They can just steal time off the clock here. Segu looking again for Hernandez. Knocked down. Velez with no foul. Heads oh, and look thing. out! Right there was Nestor Hernandez next to Chris Toth, and Chris was lucky to grab it. Throws it out to Childs, has to play it back to Scotty Martin behind his own red line. Down to the final six minutes of this one. Soccers need two goals, not just one. It's Toth. Long ball, far corner. Childs slides down to protect it. He controls. Off of the shin of Roberto, comes back out to the Soccers bench, and Brian Farber. Back to Toth, and there's under six to play. Soccers could go to six attackers if they can get the next goal here, but... Time is not on their side. It is Toth. Stepping forward. Taking more chances. Long ball forward. Childs knocks it down with the inside of his right foot. Comes outside the red line. Plays it back to midfield. It's Scotty Martin. His long ball looking for Cheeky off the goal glass. It hops off a seam. Out high comes to Childs. Didn't go low to Cheeky. Cheeky flicks it up high in the air. Childs got got fouled. And the foul was called. Childs is down saying he, he got hit by a head. An inadvertent header to the side of Childs, and here comes Paul Savage racing out. Childs thought he was bleeding. Kara Wickerad as well. It's the kind of head-to-head thing that can create a concussion, Paul. Yeah, it looked a little dangerous there. He grabbed his head right away. Well, that'll be the fourth foul on Dallas. Not a blue card, I do not believe. Childs is up. That's good news. But that didn't feel good, that's for sure. Free kick San Diego, 5.28 to go in between the red line and the top of the crease. 
We've got to make something happen on these free kicks. All-time in the history dating back to 1984 in this series. Soccers lead the all-time series, Paul, 50-25, to 25, but they are 33-6 and six all-time at the Valley View Casino Center against Dallas. This has been a place of misery for the sidekicks. They've teased and not pleased many times. But tonight they've been the better side. I haven't seen – Chiggy's made some good decisions, but I haven't seen him shoot yet. Maybe this is about – maybe this is his time. Susie lurking on the near post. Farber on the far post hoping for a header. Chiggy's going to take this free kick. Here he comes. He shoots! Oh. Wide to the left. Comes out to Eddie Velez. Eddie stepping to the right foot. Stepping up was David. Good decision. They had read that play from Eddie Velez. That's good scouting right there. And back to Toth. 5.15 to play. Evan McNeely behind it, or at, in front of his red line. Long ball forward. Looking in the crease over the head of Susie and cradled into the chest of Segu in two hands. Five minutes to play. Kylie Couch on the near wall. Evan McNeely and Memba fight for possession. McNeely goes down. Memba goes down. The oh, foul the is on San wide, Diego. Man. And that is the sixth foul on the Sockers. And that is a power play for Dallas. And that, again, could be the game sealer. We've the Sockers it. will have to spend energy on defense for the next two minutes. And then we're going to have to pull the keeper after that because we're two goals down. That was, a, that was a huge foul. McNeely got over aggressive there. He lost balance first. And when he went down, he took Memba down, and that was the foul. Giles will serve the six fouls penalty. It's, it's lonely when you walk over to the bench like that. The Sockers brought their biggest crowd since the 80s to the Valley View Casino Center tonight, but many of them may be questioning. It's game one of the season, friends. There's many more chapters to be written no matter what. This is just one win today, and nothing else is decided. Exactly. And the sidekicks unquestionably are trying to take their spot on the top of the power rankings in the PASL with tonight's performance. Staff row to Memba. This power play began at 4.56. It'll count to 2.56 or to a soccer sidekick's essentially game-clinching goal. Here is Guarda to Stavro to Memba. There's a minute 30 left in the power play. And again, Dallas doesn't even have to attack if they don't want to. Yeah. Nestor Hernandez back to Segu at his red line. Minute 20. 4.15 on the game clock. 4.15 away from a sidekick's win in San Diego. Just their seventh in franchise history. And first in the PASL. It's Hernandez to the Memba. Soccer's 32-0 in the PASL regular season at home all time. About to go 32-1. Four minutes to play in this game. Minute two in the power play. It's Memba. Top of the crease. Tipped right back out by David. Staff row to Memba. Memba now with a little space. Long shot high off the frame. Comes down to Shamu. Shamu back to Memba. 48 seconds of the power play. Into the crease. Tipped by Martin. Punted out. Rivera blocked. Farber trying to run on it. And he just kicks it into the zone of the sidekicks. 38 seconds to go in the power play. Three minutes, 30 seconds in this game. Looks like Aaron Susi has a six attacker jersey on. He's got a green keeper's jersey on. He's ready. Soccer's are ready to vacate their goal. Chris Toth has never lost in goal. That is very much in doubt now. Back to Memba. Memba to Stavro, offensive midfield. Soccer's have never had a losing record in PASL history. They're in danger of being 0-1. Long shot into the crease. Knocked down by Zay Roberto. Here comes Roberto. He's got Jeff Hughes running on the far wall. Bending ball. Knocked down by Hughes. In the corner. Shoots. And it deflected off the goal glass. Segu might have touched it, but it was not on goal. Over the wall. Sidekicks ball. 2.57 to play. Touched by a fan. Kelly Mock is pointing at Dallas. There's one second left in the penalty. Soccer's are going to kill the penalty. Dallas is going to be 0 for 4 on the penalty. That would have been huge if we could have put that in. Almost. Would have changed a lot of the momentum, but still the Sockers would have had it gone to six attackers. Now they need to get the ball to go to six attackers. Here's Farber trying to win it from Memba. Memba turns Farber and comes away. Plays it forward, defensive midfield. Jeff Hughes has it. Looking for a chance to pull the keeper. Chris Toth is running toward the bench. Here comes Craig Childs. Right wing. Shoot! Save Segu. Kicked out of the zone by Guarda. Two hops, and there's... Aaron Susi, the sixth attacker, is on the field. The soccer's goal to my left is empty. 2.35 to play. San Diego trailing 5-3. to three. Pass hops off the goal glass, and there's Segu to grab it in his crease. Susi retreats into goal. Segu, you got to throw in five seconds, Segu. He's going to call timeout. All right. That's their last timeout. <laughs> That's right? their last timeout. And with a minute, uh, 
Well, no, with around two minutes to play, the, the clock is there to count down the timeout. Dallas will plot. They'll have a goal throw coming out with a 5-3 to three lead. Hey, you know what? The San Diego Sockers have set a tone for the PASL, Paul. They have won the fourth quarter throughout their restart history. And when you hear stories about Dallas going out, investing in their conditioning, investing in their offseason, I think these sidekicks learned last year when the Sockers stunned them late in fourth quarters. And I think they made the necessary adjustment. Dallas has made a statement tonight. They have. They, they've definitely come out tonight. Uh, I, I hate to give them that much credit and say they're the better team, but they've, they've definitely outperformed us tonight. Uh, it, it's not over. Anything can happen in indoor soccer. We could get a goal and, and uh, be right back in this thing and anything can happen. But, yeah, they've definitely outperformed us tonight. You know, we, we, we picked a very tough opponent for our opening game. Uh, looks like we've got another tough opponent again next week. Monterey Flash coming in, 866-799, goal for tickets. That'll be your chance to see the Sockers win at home because tonight, barring a... Uh, and we've seen miracles against Dallas in both previous uh, games. I've been part of them. <laughs> yes, you have. But they're going to need to find a third miracle tonight, and they need two of them, and that's the hardest part. Yeah. If it was a 5-4 game, it would be one thing, but it's 5-3 to three with 2.24 to play and a goal throw for Dallas. Aaron Susi stays in, sixth attacker, no keeper for San Diego. Segu, four and a half seconds again, and he throws it out. Lovegrove heads it into the San Diego zone. Aaron Susi tracks it down for San Diego. Susi coming forward to his red line, 2.15 to play. Near wall, Eddie Velez. Cheeky Luna coming off. Velez back to Cheeky straight away. Over to Susi. Susi back to Cheeks. Cheeks has no points tonight, neither does Aaron. Susi left footed, shot blocked into the corner. Childs is there. Craig gets double teamed, rolls it back. Nobody there but Lovegrove. Look out. Farber has to run back on this. Farber and Lovegrove fight for the ball in front of the San Diego bench. A minute 52 to go. Punted hard by Farber into the far corner, but not on goal, thankfully. San Diego recovers. Minute 45 to play. Minute 45 left in the soccer's unblemished home record. It's Cheeky Luna on the near wall. Back to Susi. Again, San Diego's never lost by two goals in PASL history. 90 seconds to play, and they can't even get a shot on goal right now. It's Susie. Child's calling for the ball. Gets it on left point. Turns down low. Farber. Farber held without a point tonight. Stepping into the crease. Kicked out. Farber knocked down. No foul. And the ball one hops and hits Phil Salvaggio on the bench. Minute 18 to go. Safe to say it's going to be a hard week of practice for these boys next week. And a sad night of reflection. Here's Aaron Susie, fake the shot, cut it to the right wing. It's cheeky with a little bit of room. Save Sigu, rebound, oh. kick by Hughes into the crowd. And he was open at the top of the crease, couldn't get it on goal. 67 seconds left. Hughes kicked that ball so hard he broke an exit sign. They're going to be heading for the exit shortly, but the soccer fans have stuck around for the most part. A minute seven to go. It's Sigu, long distribution. Chested by Martin to Velez. And back to Aaron Susi. The clock keeps ticking down. 60 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Soccer's trail 5-3. to three. Velez to Aaron Susi. Aaron offensive midfield straight away. Chips the ball. Nobody in that near far corner. Farber and Bellamy fighting. Childs knocks it back out. 45 seconds left. In front of the penalty box. Ball hopped out of play. Quickly restarted by Cheeky. Back to Susi. 42 seconds left. Susi with Hernandez on him. Over to Childs. Very calm defense by Dallas. Here's Hughes. Knocked down. No foul. Ellis. And the ball punted out by Arredondo. And perfectly done. Two hops and low. And 30.5 seconds left. Uh, looks like that's it. A couple of bright spots, though. Jeff Hughes, Chris Toth. There's some really bright spots, though, even though it's a, you know, no one likes to lose. But, you know, you look at the overall pitcher. You know, uh, I think McNeely um, obviously can pick it up a little bit. But, you know, there's some bright spots there going forward. Well, the fans have finally given up the ghost uh, at this timeout. The Sockers have called timeout. We see the fans starting to try and beat the crowd out. Now, don't forget, San Diego, we need you next week as well. The Monterey Flash are coming to town. This team is no joke. They are the champions of Mexico. They have joined the PASL. Chili Farias is on their team. He is a guy you've known for many a year. Yes, yeah, very dangerous player, very tricky. Another left footer. Uh, yeah, it, we, we've got our we've got our hands full, but you know, there's nothing like um, 
you can't get game fitness from practice. You can only get game fitness from playing games. And so we've got this game under our, under our belt. I think next week it will be a much better performance as far as fitness and as far as being able to get up and down the field and, and all that stuff. So, you know, we'll, I think these guys will definitely be ready for next week. Well, the sidekicks have made their counter move in this league. It's up to San Diego to make the next step forward. Cheeky Luna bends a long ball to the top of the crease. It's headed by Sean David. Offensive midfield, Brian Farber trying to spin on the ball. Nestor Hernandez comes loose. Hernandez attacking Aaron Susie. Farber comes back. 20 seconds to play. Loose ball defensive midfield. 15 seconds to play. And there is no chance for the San Diego Sockers at this point. The Dallas sidekicks have had the biggest regular season win in the history of the Professional Arena Soccer League tonight. Aaron Susie kicks it high up in the air. Three seconds, two, and one, and the game is over. The Dallas Sidekicks have defeated the San Diego Sockers. Final score, 5-3 to three Dallas, full-time at the Valley View Casino Center. And a 46-game home winning streak is over.